Hey, striking. What is up, man? You're first tonight. What? What is up, dude? Mythical Sunday stream. Yeah, uh, I don't work tomorrow. Neither does Oriana. So we're doing the thing. Okay. Hi. Let's do the thing here. Uh -huh. Oh no, you actually got it. I'm so sorry. And you were feeling better too. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. That blows so hard. I'm sorry, man. Uh. Ugh. So that is that is not where that should have been at all. I was just going to sleep. Well, hey! How are you doing? Let's see here. Got a shout out here for you. Over phone hell to bullshit my job. Oh, that's right. Well, wait, I thought you could do most of your job remote. Will they not let you? I thought we've talked about that before. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. So the plan is to work on this for a little bit. And then move on to some other stuff. Start every stream with a little bit of work on these book nooks. Hi, 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 how you doing, Misty? You're exhausted? How am I? I'm doing great. I forgot to. So this is that back piece of foam core. We just use a tin foil ball. And we're going to actually just add a little bit of kind of rock-esque texture to it. Just by rolling it around on here. Let's 
So this is going to shake the camera a lot. Any 4th of July plan? No. Stay at home and watch uh, some, uh, some TV with Oriana. That is the plan. My ball is no longer a pin foil ball. BRB, I will be right here, buddy. Thank you so very much. School belt census is nice and thin foam core. We can just kind of bend it back into spot. We might not even be using this. I might use this for something else. But I want to. I like to do things in batches when I can, so we're gonna try and do that with this. And we're covering this again in black Mod Podge just to kind of toughen up this foam core and to prime it and get it ready for all painting and stuff. Hey, D and D fan, how are you doing? How are you doing? What am I working on tonight? I am working on the book nook giveaways for a little bit and then moving back into painting some D&D models. I'm going to start every stream with like an hour, maybe an hour and a half of the book nook work and then move into our normal stuff. That is the plan. Till they're done and then they'll go in the mail to the people who won them. Cool. That's that one done. Keeping our brush just a little bit damp here. Is my timer working? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a trainer pass yet? Oh my god, are you going to join us in our Pokemon adventure? Ah, oh, do the PCG plugin. Oh, hit uh, Poke Start. We'll see what starter you get. And it, it carries with you through all of the channels that do PCG. So if you go and watch other people, you can uh, catch Pokemon in their channels too. Once you get six on the team, you can battle them. There's quests, and you get money to get stuff in the game just from uh, hanging out and chatting in chat. You get money every 15 minutes as long as you're active in chat and you've sent something, even if it's just a dollar sign. That's pretty common. And you can catch yourself some Pokemon. But what were you working on, D&D &D fan? That's so cool. Oh, yeah. So I'll show you a trainer battle once we get the... Uh, the mad pod, the mod podge down on this because once it dries, I just want to dive right back into it. I don't want to dart around too much. And this is the pink foam with the mod podge on it. Again, just toughens it up a little bit. A Charmander. Oh my god, that's such a cool starter. Nice. No, remember, don't sell it. Don't wonder trade it, even though it sells for a lot. Um. Just keep it for now. Starters are, uh, it's the only one you're going to get until you do some like events or you randomly trade and somebody else has gotten rid of their extras or something. What did you, what did, what kind of 
link did you post? Here, send it to me directly on a whisper or send it to me on Discord. Uh, actually, my Discord is not open right now. Send it to me as a whisper in chat, and uh, I'll check it out, make sure it's actually a painted model, and then I'll post it. Had an issue with uh, links a couple of times, so I just uh, just want to vet them. One of my wonderful mods or myself just need to give it a little look-see first is all. And let me know when you did that. I don't have whispers on like an alert or anything. But I'd love to see it. And I did, we just painted a Merilith here on the channel. It's a very small Merilith though. Just part of a big Dungeons and Dragons order that I have. Which includes this Minotaur. Minotaur. Okay. Ah. Oh, I actually see that you sent me a message. There we go. Cool. Yes, that is an Instagram link. Confirmed. Ooh, I love it. I love it so much. I'm not following you on Instagram. Now I am. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. Absolutely stellar. Who's sculpt who's the sculpt by? I don't see that in the post, sorry. In either of the posts. Um is it cults of paint? You should be very pleased. It looks amazing. You have a really good... I'm looking at the dragon that you did, too. Uh, with the uh, inverted wing things. I guess those aren't inverted. Those are just flipped back. I love it. Uh, you do a really, really good job in that purple shadow and blue. Purples and blues. Blue is the best color. Oh, you just got it on Etsy. Okay, never mind. Because, like, I got a nice 3D printer. I'll print that Merilith. That seems like fun. Very Medusa-esque because of the arrows. But I know it's a Merilith because of the number of arms. Wait, is that enough arms? Is it F6? One, two. Oh, it's not a Merilith. It's interesting. Most Meriliths have six. Is it maybe a... Oh. Just a creative Merilith esque thing. Like, not Merilith. I like it. I love it. I still love it. I think six is a little bit too many arms. I just painted a tiny one. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, this. What? Why are you sticky? Oh, this one. Six was just too many arms. I'm going to get these guys, get this first batch wrapped up soon. 60 model order. Doing it in sets of like six. Okay. All right, this has been Mod Podge. We're going to set this off to the side for a minute. We're going to show you a Pokemon battle, and then we're going to work on painting some other stuff. And to give you an idea of what we are working on, this was the giveaway. Um, it is a... We're going to obviously do the backgrounds and stuff. Uh, it's a little Dwarf Forge, underground Dwarf Forge thing, and uh, just some scatter terrain. And then there's some dwarves that are going to go in there. But then I was working on the backgrounds, because I don't like leaving book nook backgrounds just solid black or anything like that. So... We're just working on that. And then the other one is a forest one. So we're actually going to work on that next for a little bit, I think. And I'm thinking it would be kind of cool because we're going to have my logo uh, printed, which I print, which this is something uh, Rabbit gave me a long time ago. He's going to be hiding back there in the forest. But I want to get these trees out of there and add some foreground stuff, I think, first. So he'll actually be, like, hidden back there in the trees. Yeah, that's the plan. But we're going to get these trees out of here uh, in a bit. And then maybe tomorrow. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, guys, I also get to stream tomorrow because same thing. Um, we don't – my wife doesn't work on uh, – doesn't work in office on Tuesday. So we don't have to get up at, like, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Okay, oh, that's the front cover of the book nook. Can't lose that. Let's focus on this one. Let's get this done here. Um, kind of happy with this statue, just kind of as is. I'm going to add a little bit of off-white. Uh, let's do birch. Nah, that's not enough. I want Moab white is what I want. Oh, scale 75 is doing this sale. And Thar brown. We'll use those two. I like those a little bit more than most off-whites. Ah. Oh, there's a stick. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's clean this off a little bit. This will just be our stuff that we don't want on our normal brushes cup for the night. <laughs> and, hey, somebody joined the Discord. I just wanna live your love tonight. All right, I'll show you the Pokemon game real quick. It's really cool. So, Yeah, we're going to switch that back off the one year for now. All right, so here's the actual extension itself. Um, here are your Pokemon. Uh, I have too many right now. I need to sell some. Um, but the number one thing you can do to help yourself out is at the beginning of the game is start wonder trading if you want to try and build up that Pokedex. Basically, there are three tiers, A, B, and C, um, and you're going to go ahead and trade them, um, trade a Pokemon, and then you get one of the appropriate tier. Like uh, Gardevoir, I believe, is currently a B tier. The tier is kind of change a little bit um but for that Gardevoir I got a I got a Gardevoir uh everyone thinks she's an A tier so she gets traded a lot oh no that's funny wait no I didn't get I didn't get a new Pokemon wait okay I got a, a Ranunculus okay Daughters of Cain Proxy or Gorgon okay I am going to check out that sculpt because that's actually really cool Oh, yeah, he's on my mini factory. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I love it. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And here, that's exactly what I needed. Let's see here. Oh, I got his My Mini Factory page open now. I'm going to give him a favorite real quick. Give me a minute. This website is a potato. I'm going to follow him. Oh, I love it. I love some of this guy's sculpts. Oh, my gosh. These are so cool. Uh, a lot of not Warhammer stuff, which is always nice. Ooh, Eldar Reaper squads. Oh, I've always been looking for good Eldar proxies. And oh, my God. Hold up. I like these. Does he do them by collection? Let's see here. Uh, no, he just does objects. Okay, that's fine. That's a little bit more organization on his part. Oh, there's some Age of Sigmar proxies and stuff in here. I love it. I love it so much. I love his more cat-like griffhounds. I love that. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm looking at. Give me a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, let's change the Google looky so you can see this. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love the more... Fuck, go away, my mini factory. I love the more cat-like Griffhounds. That's a really cool model. But yeah, he's got tons of stuff. Pretty reasonably priced, too, considering most of its proxies. In terms of proxies, those are usually a little bit more expensive. If they're for, or a proxy for a game. But yeah, almost all of this stuff is, though, too. That's a Dark Eldar in there. I love it. This is awesome. Oh, it's Antilus. Oh, nice. All right, guys. Now I know uh, if next time I want to paint some Warhammer stuff, uh, what I'm going to... Uh, I might just ignore all the stuff that I have here and use and print and paint some of these things. Oh, my God. 
I love it. I gotta do a. I got. My, I'm. I'm a little booked up on the uh, resin printer right now, though. I should have spent the time before stream. Oh, I love it. Doing some STL file work to get something ready for printing because my potato computer will break if I try and stream and add supports to a model at the same time. It will go berserk. Van Sunny, hi. How are you doing? Sorry. Okay, guys. Um, let's go ahead and do this PCG thing real quick. So once you get six Pokemon on a team, once you have six Pokemon, you can go over here and you can make a team. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, let me go ahead and just go to like a random team. Okay, so this one's the one that I used to show people. Um, you need six Pokemon on our team. Cool. So I, I have an empty team here. Well, I have a grapple locked on there. Um, I go to my Pokemon and then I just right-click them. Or if you want to, um, let's put a team that's actually worth playing. Um, you select them, and then you can see their stats and stuff, their IVs. Don't get too caught up on this. I always say it. The number one most important thing for PCG specifically is their base stats and then the moves themselves. Only look at things like IVs and their nature last. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, and then after you look at their base stats, like are they a good mod or not, Go ahead and look at their moves, because their moves can be totally random. Every Pokemon gets a normal type move that can be a totally random. Uh, two moves of their specific typing. So this one's a dual steel psychic type, so it gets a psychic and a steel type move. And then a random move that can be almost anything from the game. And that's what you kind of want to base your original thoughts on. Don't worry about IV resetting Pokemon until you have like some like choice Pokemon uh, at that point you just want to uh focus on getting good pokemon themselves with good base stats like speed speed is king in this game uh for pcg speed and then good moves and yeah that's it don't worry about empty uh you can empty disc like a good pokemon like uh some of these pseudo legendaries phantom hi how are you doing hi dude i'm so sorry about your discord account i'm so sorry that's god Oh, and there's a Pokemon. You can hit exclamation point poke a check to see if you've caught it before. Um, and then throw a Pokeball if you want to try and catch it. Pokeballs are like a 30% chance. Um, and then it uh, goes all the way up to Ultra Balls. So you can do Great Balls, Ultra Balls, etc. You can buy all of those here in the shop. There are chat commands to do those, but they may be going away someday. So you can go here to the shop. So inventory and then shop. And then you can buy things here. Uh, you always want to buy things in sets of 10, so you get that extra Pokeball. You get a Premier Ball, just like in the video games. And don't get discouraged if your normal Pokeballs don't catch things very often, because if you look there, catch rate 30%. That's kind of garbage. Uh, versus Great Balls, 55%. So as long as you're staying active in chat, uh, you're like, you've followed these two streamers on uh, Twitch, and you kind of do your Poke Daily every single day, you can kind of throw Great Balls at everything, especially if you're doing the daily quests and you're selling garbage mons. Um, let's see here. What do we got for the weekly? Hard. Catch Pokemon with Great Balls. Oh, okay. I'm going to start working on that. Um, so there's quests every week, too. I only have 11 Great Balls right now. Let's go ahead and grab 10 more. What is this Pokemon? Okay. Uh... Cosmoem. Okay, let me check my Pokedex. I don't think I've caught one of those before. Oh, he's not spawnable. He doesn't spawn. It's another... Oh, it's a good chance for me to add to my Pokedex. Oh, nice. Look at that. I'm at 92% of all the spawnable Pokemon I've caught. That's so exciting. Uh, let's take a look at the other quests here. Ooh, Wonder Trade Grass Pokemon. You can get a nice good A tier trade there. Uh, oh, this is a Flash mission. Um... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Uh, participate in public battles using a normal type. Oh, okay. Do I have a normal type on my normal team? No. Do I have a normal type on my leveling team? I do. Cool. So this is a team of Pokemon that I'm just leveling up to grind out some money. So I'm not going to, like, I don't care too much about if they're good or not. But, yeah, man, I'm so sorry about your account there. That sucks. Mm. I accidentally hit ranked battle. We're going to hit casual battle. Duh. <laughs> oh, 
All right, there's a Skarmory. Cool. I don't really care if I win or not, so I'm just going to throw out some moves and try and knock out, like, one or two of his Pokemon. I don't really care. Because this is, again, a... Uh, just a throwaway team to try and get uh, some some level ups is all. How is this going? Oh, that's nowhere near dry yet. Oh, why did I touch that? Oh my god. Oh, Phantom, just because I anticipate the question, um, do you have a preference between the two book nooks that we're working on? Yeah, so another good, if you're using like these nonsense teams like I do, Pokemon with um, Oko moves are actually really, really good to throw in there. Like Fisher, unfortunately, Skarmory is immune to the ground type. What Pokemon? No, um, Book Nook. Book Nook, sorry. I don't know why I would have said Pokemon. It's time to run our Stream Raiders battle. It's a totally free-to-play game, if you're ever interested. You drop little units on the field, and then we fight together against some enemies. I was asking which book nook you would prefer, just in case Queen Sassicat doesn't have a preference and wants me to ask you. And then I don't, I don't like going back and forth a bunch. It seems meh. You don't have a preference either? Okay, cool. I'll ask her, and then uh, if she doesn't have a preference, I will just randomly decide who gets what. Another... Flying type, so I can't use my Fisher. Crit wing attack. Oh dear. <coughs> cool. That's it. Done and dusted. Um, let's go ahead and check out uh Ice Fang. Is that super is, is ice super effective against flying? Oh, it's frozen. Dang. This Excavalier is not bad. I like this. This person is uh, fighting me pretty quickly. Like, they're uh, selecting <coughs> moves relatively quickly, which is nice. Oh, that Talent Flame is has a very good chance of just sweeping my team. Because I have some very, uh, I don't really think too much about, uh, typing and stuff on the, uh, the level up teams. I usually just grab some Pokemon that are level like one to three and I throw them in there till they're like 12 to 15. I just keep them, keep them going. Oh, power up punch. Really? Oh gosh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Doesn't Twister always do the same amount of damage or something? Am I thinking of something else? No idea. Oh no, we painted this one first. Oh, that one's actually pretty good. Relatively dry. Oh, and we have this one to paint too. Okay, cool. So we're going to paint these gray. Come on, dude. You were being so fast before. Oh, he's, he's choosing his next mod. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Togekiss. Oh, God, we lose. I'm just kidding. We were always going to lose this. <laughs> Draining Kiss Togekiss. If you ever see one of these, you're playing against a serious battler. It is undeniably one of the best things in the game. Oh, but I have my Metagross. See, normally I put, like, one Pokemon on the team that's, like, really good. That can kind of definitely get at least one one knockout. I like this. It's a good casual battle. We're not doing a bunch of crazy swaps and stuff. I am 100% going to get the new ones. Yes. I missed Arceus. Um... I regret it deeply, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to the new ones. <coughs> ah, Earthquake. Just kidding, it's fine. We're going to put a swell out there. Oh, 
All right, and once we lose this fight, we'll get a little bit of money. See, I liked Arceus because like I got thirty-five dollars. I think only one Pokemon leveled up. Yeah, only the uh, Sheldon, Shogun did. Uh, we probably need to swap out a couple of these guys. But anyway, that's how Pokemon battles work. If you are still listening, but yeah, okay. I liked that one specifically because it was like it felt more like a a different. It was different for once. It was not the normal. It was not the same thing that we've been playing for twenty plus years. You were catching Pokemon in droves, which was kind of cool. However, I understand it was definitely not most people's cup of tea. But I'm a totally offline. Pokemon player too, so like I don't usually pay for like the Nintendo thing or any of that stuff. What's going on in here? I like how my paint rack is uh, I need to reorganize these. Okay. Just some normal basics paint. We'll just grab, uh, I want a bigger paintbrush. Where's a bigger paintbrush? That's that's absurdly large. Okay, there we go, this is better. Uh, how about this? We could just use this. <laughs> okay, mostly back, be right back. Finna wait for my food. Oh, let us know what kind of food you're getting too. Curio. So a little bit of water on the brush here. Mix in a little bit of water here. And got the kid in the bathroom. Nice, nice. Getting a honey barbecue wings with fries and lemonade. Oh, that sounds really good. I hope you enjoy that. Ah, I always do this. Well, it's fine. Didn't give me I didn't leave myself a place to hold it. There we go. See? Just gotta get most cover mostly coverage. A little bit of variation is kind of actually perfect. And there we go. That's good. Now it just needs to dry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um We might be doing something different on that back piece, but the side piece I think we're gonna do just gray. Leave that in there for now. Okay, so let's see here. Um, my thought is actually to put some cork board down here behind 
yeah, like this. This is actually almost perfectly sized. It's like it's meant to be here. Um, is this? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and just do the cork. It's gonna be quick, easy. Um, because this, I don't want to glue that really heavy plaster rock to the um to this really thin foam. I just don't see that working out very well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the. I think this should be fine. This doesn't need to be too precise. Both these sides are going to be underneath or behind other things. So let's just... Huh. There we go. Right, let's go ahead and get this painted gray as well. And we'll decide which one we want to do uh, in a little bit. See here. Don't need to mod podge this. We're just going to go in here with the gray paint. Let's just cork board. We're really going to have to make sure we're working that paint in here. So lots of water here. Hey, there's a Pokemon, little turtle guy. Everything is great balls. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just bought a bunch. This is all the quest. Am I being dumb? I don't. That's still not getting good coverage. Um, I think I just have a gray spray primer that we're gonna use since it's not foam. We can just go ahead and blast it. Uh, which we're gonna do. So I'm going to be right back. Ah. Ah. There, there's now an amount of gray paint on the floor. That's fine. We're just going to leave that there. I'll be back. Boom, there we go, perfect, done. Okay.
So I don't need this. We're just going to go ahead and put this up here. Out of the way. Get it back where... Well, that, that's not going to... I'm never going to remember that that's up there. Uh, Up there. Nope. Uh, up there. Nope. Actually, back there is fine. No, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. I'm being lazy. All right, get up there. Uh, there we go. Oh. Oh. That's nowhere near dry enough. Okay. Let's see here. I'm trying to find a specific guide here. Right, we're going to watch a real quick home uh, video. This guy's great. Black Magic Craft. He's an awesome guy. Let's not skip through through his video. I'm going to need all this stuff ready. We're also going to do something else, which is just making it more of our one-to-one um, -one glue mixture. We're not gonna we're not we're not gonna get an update on his kitchen, I just realized that. <laughs> is, is he cooking something? No, no, no. Uh, that's gross. I need... He is, yeah, so he has, this is back in the day when he was, like, really building up the community. Um, and, like, lots of people ask Jeremy for lots of updates on his life all of the time. So, yes, a lot of his videos do end up like that. Uh, this is, how does this only have three... Is this a dude on your table? 
<laughs> we're um I'm making more black wash and rather than look up the recipe, I'm gonna give credit to him um the, the guy that we're just gonna copy his thing, basically. Yeah, we do have very similar desk mats. <laughs> I it's it's the one that you can buy from like Walmart and Meyer. <laughs> And I'm also making more one-to-one um, -one glue water because we've been running low on that for a while. You have to wait longer? Oh, that's some bullshit, man. I'm sorry. Is glue not coming out? Oh, yeah, my glue wasn't open. Oops. I'm a pro. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen his dragons yet? Oh, my God. He posted a picture of them on the discords. I thought you'd seen them. I know you saw them beforehand. They're great. Yeah, brown and black wash. Pro tip. Uh, we've used I've used all of my squeeze bottles to make uh uh primer bottles and stuff. I need to get more of these. Uh I thought he posted them on the work in progress at some point. We're watching this whole could you imagine watching this whole video? I guess it's only five minutes. Yes, professional YouTuber. You should see the stuff he does now. Has super shaky hands. All right, that's it for glue. Oh, I almost missed the ratios. Ten to one. You distracted hands, yeah, okay.
You do not need to mix up your ink too much. Okay, that's based on bottle size. Okay, so 10 to 1 to 1. Okay. 10 to 10 to 1. Okay. Awesome. All right, and then uh, in the meantime, I use the rest of that bottle of glue, and yeah. Oh my god, they canceled your order? That's some nonsense. Sometimes you see stuff in one of and they get distracted. Oh my gosh, yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, he also has a white dragon that he's been working on. I don't know if that's up yet. Oh, the white stego dragon. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, cool. Done. And look at that. We have a uh, about half of a bottle of the one to one now water PVA glue, which we use for basing all the time. All right. Uh, so. 1 to 10 to 1, and then ink. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we're actually, we're going to start with the, the 1. Both of these. Ten. Medium and then ink. There we go. Oh, this is a gloss medium. Let's go with matte. That's glazing medium. There's matte medium. Ta da! Oh, cape. A tier Pokemon. That's exciting. Great ball still. Okay. Go ahead and mix this up. At this point, we can actually check the consistency of this. I like it. I like it. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yo, Aqua, what is up? How are you doing, man? We're just making some uh, washes for terrain. Because if we were going to use normal washes, we would be using like a whole bottle, like $9 bottle of, of wash for this. So we're just making some ourselves here. Hey, I caught it. I just want to be with you, be with you, be with you, all and not be with you, only you. So, I don't think you should shake your, your uh, inks like that. I think a circular motion is usually better. Just due to the shape and nature of the actual pigments inside of there. So, I usually shake them circularly. Oh, we need more black ink. Yes, there is a, a quest for... 15 Pokemon with Great Balls, yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's make a real quick list. What was the other thing I wanted? I wanted bottles. All right, let's do that real quick. I wanted... Uh, what should I call those? Uh, nozzle bottles. 
for washes. Um, didn't you just buy 15 great balls? What? I thought you just did. Um, black ink. I'm good on white ink, I think. Um, and then, oh yeah, but you used one. What? So you don't like to buy them in sets of 10 for the extra premiere ball? I just like doing things in 10 because then I get uh, for when there's a quest that says, hey, you have to use premiere balls. I have them. Okay. Um, black ink. Nah, it's fine. Um, good on the rest of it. Good deal. All right, let's add our inks in here. So the uh, black ink is going to get a little bit of brown for the black wash. Hey, Marowyn, how you doing? Oh, you could do that. It wasn't thinking. Hey, I do the same thing all the time. Let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Got 10 drops of black ink, and then a little bit of a burnt, transparent burnt umber, sorry. And one, two, three, four, five. It's not going to be as strong. Nice. Last six on Wednesday after work. Awesome. And then for this one over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then a little bit of orange. This is just to lighten up the brown because brown is just orange with black added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might have been a little bit too much. Um, and I'm excited to get new containers because these don't actually seal on top. Stream Raiders. I uh, just got home from a trip into town, bought paint and then more minis. Of course, yes. Yes. One of us. One of us. That might have been a little up there. Okay. Yeah, it's way too much orange. Although, actually, wait, hold up. Perfect, there we go. It'll be nice to have these in easier to use bottles too, rather than these little glass jars. All right. Got some gold here to give away. Let's see here, Misty's in chat, Striken's in chat. Ow. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen anyone else in chat, so we're gonna make sure you guys get your gold. Take it. Go. Uh, goblin minis. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I need to paint goblins. I was going through the good enough uh, painting log and updating all the things that I've painted. Uh, I've never painted goblins. <laughs> Yum. Okay, cool. There's a brown wash. How get gold? Uh, I, I gave gold to the people who got uh, high kills and were in chat. Uh, in uh, Stream Raiders. I didn't see you on the list of people that were in there. I'm not concerned about the black, so let's just go ahead. And... I'm so sorry if I missed you. I'll get you on the next one. There we go. All right. Then the outside, let's get some paint on the outside. Uh, and there's our black wash. Oh, there are goblins in the D and D in the Dominion's box. You're right. They're like little plague thingy. Yeah, dude. Thank you. And orcs, lots of orcs, and uh, I will call those. Those are hobgoblins, though. I have some D and D goblins I need to paint. Although, no, wait, I have painted goblins before. 
when I did the uh, for the Adventurers League at a local gaming store, their starter set, uh, I sold them like a D and D starter set for just like a hundred and fifty uh, bucks, and it had like a ton of stuff in it, including like a normal like goblins and humanoids. I'm sorry, you have to go to bed hungry. Go get some sleep. Go get some sleep. There was goblins in there. But I didn't take any pictures of them, so it doesn't count, right? Ah, we'll have to use some of the ones out of here in the box set. Okay. So when is Legion X STL week? Legion? Like Star Wars Legion? Oh, man. As soon as I get some orders for them, 100% happening. Tepig, yes. Tepig is a starter. Oh, it reminds me. Oh, yeah. Most people, a lot of people like to send their extras of starters, myself included, into Wonder Trade. So, yeah. It's been a common community thing that some people have started doing to help other people out with that starter Pokedex. Getting the starters. So, like, I have, like, uh, I think my next trade, I should probably do that. I have, like, a couple extra, like, chessmans and things. Like, I don't need two of starters. You just pick one and send it. Go for it. Okay, cool. Let's try this out here. More black. That's more like it. There you go. See, it's just going to bring out all of those details and stuff. And kind of add. This is a good example right here on top. Change the way you kiss me. Okay, cool, done.
Where does it I go wrong? Lost the friend. You can see it there, seeping into all those little cracks and crevices. We're not worried about trying to get this extra even. One, that seems like too much work. And two, they'll add nice little invariance to the texture, to the color there. You're gonna hold your brush kind of perpendicular to the, the piece, parallel, sorry. Let it kind of graze over all these cracks. Try and get the ink in there. Really help bring them back out. Simpor. There we go. And look at that. We brought all of those details back out. You can see all the stonework now. I'm well along in the bitterness. Well, there we go. Cool. Done. We're going to let this dry. It's going to take a million years. Yeah, some of it's pulled up on the rocks there. Uh, not really too concerned about that. These, again, those are towards the top. And variants. Okay. So the flow aid is what actually enables it to seep into all those cracks and crevices. Kind of like a wash does, because it is a wash. And there we go, we've brought all of that wonderful texture that we added with the tinfoil ball back in. You can see a little bit of the brown coming through in some spots and a little bit of black. Perfect. All right, these dry, and that's it. All right, ah, good deal. A one, ooh, not quite. Not today, sir, not today. This one we already started dry brushing, but it is terrain, so let's go ahead and get some washes in here. Just go ahead and give it a once over here. And we'll re-dry brush it when the time comes. <gasps> Cobalt the Otter! Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate it! Oh, you're incredible. Oh, thank you, Striking. Striking got to perform it. Ooh, what's this? Oh, you're the one that played the uh, Resident Evil game. I remember this clip. Are you fucking kidding me? You're playing some Destiny 2, that's right. Are you still enjoying it? Ta-da, done. Good deal. Those are going to dry. Those are going to need several hours to dry. So that's it. Oh, that's the sailor's mouth. Yeah, watch your fucking mouth, okay? It's a family. This is a goddamn family channel. All right? By Odin's beard. Come on. I'm just kidding. Hey, that's okay. Video games can be frustrating. 
All right, cool. This black wash is for terrain. It goes right here. Yeah, nope. The washes go up there, Ricky. Duh. We grab our inks. And boom. 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 Ah, there we go. Oh, this is another cup. Wait, what's this other bottle? Oh. Yay! Done! Time to paint. And that was it, guys. About an hour and 15 minutes of working on the book nooks. We made some good progress there. And we'll go ahead and just put this stuff back in. And start working on our normally scheduled stream stuff. Which is the Chem Nerds Commission. Yay! We have to paint the horns. I totally forgot the horns. Duh. There will no, you know, in my X, XTN Minecraft server. What does that mean? Cleared up to nose pass in I Pokemon DMA duplicates. Nice, nice. There you go. I just sell too many. I just sell a bunch. Oh, Christian. Duh. Okay, sorry. I apologize. Yeah, Christian. My bad. Okay, I'm lurking. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, I just checked. I, I didn't miss it. You didn't say lurk earlier. You're just unlurking now. Okay. Oh, I do eat a lot of paint. And I'm also not Christian. I am Buddhist. So back in my very devout Christian days, they didn't. I don't think we ever used Chris, Xchin. That's interesting. Although that makes sense. Xmas. I understand now. I got you. I know you didn't say lurk. I got you. I've tricked you. Also, hi. How are you doing? Ah, it is too warm for this hoodie, I believe. It is nice and warm in the basement. I love it. Oh. But I am sweaty. Okay, there we go. Up there. Good deal. Okay. We're going to paint these horns. And then get him all done and dusted in this uh, hilt of his sword. I'm pagan, but that doesn't mean I'm not open to other religious views. That's great. That is very good. That is the way to be. Even like the uh, Christian youth group that I was part of before I converted, and then I converted into Buddhism, um, they were incredible. Um, they they still let me go on like trips and uh, outreach stuff and uh, participate. They were incredible people. Um, and I got to go because there's, there's not a lot of buddhist youth groups where you can do volunteer work so i got to work in like soup kitchens a bunch all that other good stuff and then just was just politely quiet when they were doing um their own thing so that was it and it was it was so nice such a wonderful experience i see here Let's see here do 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 Take it all, everybody take it all. Mm. Oh, it does kind of look like one of those crazy guys from Doom Eternal. Yeah. There's a lot of demons and stuff in this order. There's going to be a bunch of stuff from that that looks like good demons and monsters and stuff. All right. Um, we're going to highlight his cloak a little bit more. But first, we need to see where his cloak is actually on the model. I spent all this time doing wonderful non-metallic metal work on these things. This is not uh, many. This is not for forty-eight. This is part of a dungeon, a big Dungeons and Dragons commission. Uh, it's like sixty total models, bunch of stuff, all over the board. Uh, in order to take some filing, but that's what we're looking at. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and file off some of that primer. I haven't had a 40k commission in a while. I have I have a Warhammer Fantasy commission. Yes, this is the big order with Bellacor in it. Lots and lots of demons. Chem Nerds loves their demons. I can tell. File a little bit of this primer. Yes, this is a Minotaur. Yeah, it's uh, but they wanted a skeleton Minotaur. 
uh, with gold trim on all of the armor. So that's what we did. With the colors of Bert, which is, I guess, a, uh, a facet of their campaign. So he's got the red Bert helmet. <laughs> Minolich. Oh, I like that. Minolich. I love it. Oh, I was just reading. I need to update my Goodreads. I finished that book today. Uh, the battle between Grom Fanry and the uh, and the Lich and Menzo Berenzon. Incredible spell sequence. Book five of... No, book six of the... Um, is it five or was it six? Which one was the battle in there? Um, I forget. Grom Fanry uh, does a spell battle against the, the Lich House uh, Savir, I think? See, this description. No, because this one's all about the uh, you'll say. Never mind. Anyway, update progress. I did finish it today. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a three. Um. Mm, I'm gonna give it a three. It's my first three of the year, though. So I mean, I'm like thirty books into the year and. It's getting my first uh, three, so that's okay. That's okay. Not a f fan of that ending there. The Silent Blade I started reading today. Rereading, I should say. Let's see here. Currently reading. And update progress. Percent. I am 10% done. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. It's a uh, 12. Where do I get... Okay, wait, wait, one sec. I'm gonna... uh, but then, that would be assuming he's a spellcaster, which would make sense if he was an Oathbreaker Paladin. Oh, an Oathbreaker Paladin Minotaur Lich. Honestly, I want to play in your campaign. That sounds cool as heck. Where do I get most of my commissions, if you don't mind me asking? Um, usually, it's word of mouth. Um, friends of friends discussing it. Um, and constantly, constantly making sure I'm staying up on things like social media, staying active in local discords at game centers and things like that. Uh, I had some flyers, uh, and honestly, a lot of them have come here through streaming. Um, I used to get maybe one commission a month, things like that, small stuff from friends and friends of friends. However, uh, since I started streaming here on Twitch, it's it's been a little bit more steady because I get the occasional thing from people like... Um, like Van Sunny hit me up for a, a, a job, and I think we're going to be doing some other stuff for him. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing the Dominion box set, but then also he had some Vikings, I wanted to say. But yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what's filled out the schedule, because before it was just kind of, you know, once, one a month or something like that. Small stuff, D&D. &D. <laughs> more and more active tonight. Oh yeah, same here. And Appa doesn't care about fireworks. Another reason this is like the most amazing dog I've ever been around. You don't even care. Vikings will be after Dominion. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. I was wondering which which side of that you wanted to do first. So after this order, we have the Dominion. Need to get out there more. And also, post up your commission pricing and stuff on our Discord reload. Please. Do you have pricing and stuff in mind? That's the number one thing that helped me a lot, is I have pricing ready. And people can look at it, and they can plan for it. Uh, I do always offer a quote at the end, but they can go and they can see how much stuff costs other people. That is the number one thing you should figure out first. It should probably be flat rate. Start grazing tomorrow. It seemed to be pretty chill. Nice, nice. My cat is probably under my bed right now. Or uh, under Oriana's bed. One or the other. Gosh, making the change from uh, always sleeping next to each other to uh, having our own bed setups has been so great. It's awful. Yes, this is Sabaton. I don't know if, if I'm charging too much or too little. I promise you you're not charging too much. I can promise you that. There it is.
Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get this glued in there, and we'll work on the horns and, and the sword and stuff. Perfect. I love it when that works out. Yeah, send me a message on Discord. Actually, I guess I will. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you wanted me to show you, like, 40k pricing for something like go check out frontline gaming pricing it's it's expensive and they're one of the biggest commission painting services out there they offer the different tiers and the levels etc i promise you you're not charging too much if you want my personal opinion on it based on the stuff that i've seen that you've done let me know send me a message Boom, there it is. But it's always nice to be able to say, hey, like this, good example. I can say, hey, I'm going to paint this for you for 20 bucks. 15. What was it? 15. Yeah, $15 on this. Giving people that idea. I'll show you my good enough painting pricing sheet. I'm working on D&D. D&D is not done yet. I'm working on D&D. <gasps> El Ravager, hi, how are you doing? Hi. Yeah, like, so here, boom. What is this? What is this tab? Coming early 2022. Well, that's actually late 2022. Mid 2022. So yeah, boom. You have something like this that they can type in their numbers for, like, war games. And then D&D. &D, small basic monsters, $8. NPC enemy squads, 10 Medium monsters, like this guy, 18 bucks. These prices are too high. Right? No, no, that's right. Okay. And yeah, things like the big dragon. So like, I like to give examples. I need to format this page a little bit better. I need to look at all that. But yeah, so now someone can go in here and they can look and be like, oh, cool. For 45 bucks, I can get a green dragon like this. Giving people that option so they can see it and know it's up. Helps a ton. Oh, battles in four minutes, okay. Frontline Gaming, recent Frankie are good guys. They were telling Nice! That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, those guys are awesome. They do, um... They, I, was, I was giving them... I was talking about them as a reference point for, like, commission painting, like... Like, those guys, like, you're not charging too much. Look at how much those people charge and how good they are. And look at their different levels. Give yourself an idea. See, like, hey, where am I at? Uh, and then, you know, for your local small business, you don't have the name as them. So be a little bit cheaper. And that's it. You'll eventually get work. Um, but I will say my first year, I think, if I look at the commission book here, I can tell you, actually. This is fun. I like talking about commission painting services and helping other people understand what went into it. I did a lot of work into it, but um, let's see. First year was in 2020. I had a commission in uh, 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 uh. Um, That's fine. Okay, cool. I don't want to hide people's addresses and phone numbers, etc. All that stuff. So um, <coughs> Uh, 2020, I had a job in October and then one in November, and then I had a two month nothing, and I had one in Jan uh, two in January, uh, and then I had one in February, and then I went about five and a half months with nothing, and then I had a couple in a row there. I think those were for, yeah, those were for just a couple of people that knew each other, and yeah. Models on Parade. I want to do a uh, Armies on Parade sometime. 100%. I want to do an Armies on Parade board for somebody someday. But that is a huge project. Talking like months of work. 
uh, whole terrain board, etc. I and I have a couple of really cool ideas for them, including adding a bunch of really cool verticality to it and some construction stuff. I'm very much looking forward to the day when the right army comes along. Armies on parade. Shadow, you have a good rest of your night, and I can't wait to see you next time. I'll show you, Vance, honey. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe you don't know about this. Okay. Uh, armies on parade. Okay, so armies on parade is... Armies on parade, WordPress. So it's a war game. I'm just going to show you. So basically, for armies on parade, you create a scenic board. It has to be, I think, two feet by two feet uh, in X and Y. And you... um. Uh, you get you get featured here, and uh, well, some people like you take a bunch of pictures. You have all the models painted, um, and usually local gaming stores and stuff have things here. Yeah, so you can see here whole big board, lots of stuff showing the features. I mean, look at it. these are some of the winners and stuff of local gaming events, and that's actually find my local my closest store. So you can find a store that's participating. It's signed up with GW, etc. Um, no, 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 uh, this. Let's see here. Let's find a couple of good ones that I like. Um, oh yeah. So these are like winners at big GW stores. And the idea is that also you have bases on the model is something that's kind of like an unwritten rule. Um, but yeah. You can also do this without, uh, bases on the models, I think, uh, FAQ. But yeah. This is what Armies on Parade is. It's a whole scenic board for your local gaming store. And these are some of the winners. Sometimes weird things like this sneak in. Beautifully painted army that's just kind of like on a basic display board. Huh. But then you get really crazy with stuff like this. Look at this Seraphim board. Oh my god. How cool is that? With the realm gate in the background. Oh my gosh. The talent of some people. Says, oh, Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking about uh, Armies on Parade. Someone mentioned it and someone asked what it was. <laughs> Sorry if you're not a Warhammer fan. I'm not a huge Warhammer fan, but um, I do love their models. They are definitely, hands down, some of the best models out there to actually work on. I, that is undeniable. But they are very expensive, and GW is a so-so company sometimes. But it's important to remember also that, uh, uh, remind yourself that, uh, that, that, you know, we are in a society where businesses are designed to make money and that's that it sucks sometimes and we can talk about our feelings all day long about it but at the end of the day it their goal and their purpose is to make money so yeah it sucks but yeah a battle scene would be pretty interested yeah yeah, battle scenes are, are also really, really common. Usually it's supposed to be a, a singular faction. But yeah. Actually, wait, I know. For Armies on Parade, I think the FAQ, it does need to be a single faction. But yeah. For just a display board, there's tons of times where people have done uh, verses, like two sides versus each other. I love my orcs, but I haven't had time to play. It was it you that had the really cool, like you made it look like a painting and you hung it horizontally on the wall, Ravager? Was that you that I'm thinking of, or somebody else? Or am I totally coming out of left field? Oh, I should have placed a paladin. All right, that's fine. So I thought I remember seeing that and it actually gave me some inspiration for some cool ideas. One. Two, three, four. Nice. We're going to get a loyalty boss chest in it. It was Ravager. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sorry. But yeah, so in terms of commissions, don't get discouraged. I mean, look at that. That was a six month gap. So that's when I switched to just painting and putting stuff on Etsy a bunch. Um, yeah. Actual commission work, I mean, it's slow. It can definitely be slow at the beginning, too. Yeah. Like, look at this year. We've only got a handful of jobs. Oh, wait, no, this is 2022. There's a lot more this year. And I started having to add stuff like Twitch payouts, etc. in this book. But yeah. Alrighty. And you can see those amounts. Some of those were like 20 bucks. Alrighty.
What is this? Oh, wood piles. I don't need those actually anymore. These are just going to be. Oh, it bounced off the rim. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah, guys, duh. sorry, I'm just talking to you, guys, El Ravager streams, he's an incredibly cool guy, tons, he's like a PCG savant, and uh, does Stream Raiders 2, all, and some video games, awesome, awesome content creator, incredibly kind person as well, just an absolute stellar, the bomb diggity. <laughs> Looks like he also plays spoofy games, so look out there. We make it because we make it move. It is the only thing we know how to do. Work out. So uh, the, the horns, we're going to go with just some Thar Brown. And then highlight with Moab White. Maybe add a little bit of a washy wash to it. And that's that. Your savant, if you're not a savant, I don't know what it is. Gotta thin this down a lot, actually. I want to maintain the transparentness of this paint. Keep that under texture that we added in there earlier. Thank you. No, thank you for being you, for being kind, for being an incredibly supportive and wonderful member of the community here, and for creating some good, enjoyable content on Twitch. Thank you. Poke card. Yeah, 88. Dude, you made it. Weren't you going for top 100? Look at this bad. It was 1,050 wins. Oh my god. Let's see what must mine look like. Yeah, 222. Two, two. Yeah, 223. Getting there. I just kind of went back to my old team. I wasn't liking the one that I had now. My new one. A little bit of this really thin paint again. We're going to grab it. You can see here, we still have all that variance in color and stuff. From the underpainting. We're also going to be painting up a phoenix for him. He is the next um, diorama scale project that we have going on. Yo, 630. Thank you so very much for the epic. I should not have put this cape on.
Oh my gosh, use your great balls. Oh, that's actually a good pet Pokemon for uh, battling, if I'm not mistaken. But L, I forgot I wanted to ask you for help on my Pokemon team. Someday. Okay. Looking good, looking good. I need a new camera mount. That's right. We're adding that. I really need a new camera mount. It's it's kind of getting to that point. That thing is definitely getting loose. I'm going to write that down right now. Because that is not going well. I might just buy that tonight after stream, I think. They call me, and there are no words. BRB, hey, thank you so very much. There I go. Cool. I like it. Oh, that was quick.
Ha, plate mail. Find the rubber to the bow and where I go. Then we're doing jump too fast and then we duck slow. Yeah, Steve Ann Lee is live right now. Go check him out. Awesome variety streamer. Gonna give him a shout out here. He just went live. Just got the notification on my phone. Check him out. Definitely check him out. Give him some love. Let's see what his clip is. I had no idea what that was, gotta be honest. Looked like just playing some Mario Party. I know those, he's playing, oh, that's right, yeah. So he's been playing these um challenge runs of Pokemon. I really want to start, I really just want to get that emulator down there so I can try to watch it and uh, start playing it myself too. I've always wanted to do those fun challenges, like Nuzlocks are kind of like the most simple one now. There's really crazy ones like Iron Mon, Kaizo. I just need to get an emulator working on my computer. <laughs> Randomizers, etc. So much cool stuff you can do. You don't have the patience for them. That's fair. I get, I hear that. I hear that. Oh yeah, striking. He gave up on uh, the uh, uh, the uh, Kaizo run. He's just doing an Iron Mon now, a randomizer. Totally different kind of challenge. Uh, definitely not as hard, but yeah, he, I think he gave up on Kaizo, which is just an insane challenge. Like you'd have to go look up the rules for it. It's oh my gosh. I just want to do a Nuzlocke. Uh, I've started one on a normal emulator, but I think I just want to. I need to get a controller to plug into my computer and start working on using that. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, no, he got so far. Oh my god. Like, he got so far with Queendra. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. I think he did like maybe one or two. Like he tried to do another run after that, but it's just like Queen Drew was it. Queen Drew was the chance. Long live the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the problem. The queen didn't live. Night mares and fantasies. Into the wasteland of
Oh boy. Okay. Might be a time for a new uh, middling brush here again soon, guys. <laughs> oh, I never actually logged into Discord. Like I wanted to. It was being recovered, but hopefully we'll return Spoon. I love it. I really... Guys, Leah is amazing. Hi, Leah. How are you doing? I hope you're absolutely over the moon. As I hope you are half as feeling as good. I hope you're feeling half as good as I am excited to see you. How are you doing tonight? And I'm glad that you're going to return Spoon. Because I was worried that uh, you were just going to fork off and, and, and run off into the knife. So I'm glad you're coming back. I appreciate it. I did it, guys. I did it. I used several pieces of cutlery right there. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> I did. I did it so hard, too, and there's nothing you can do about it. Not even anything. Ah. <sighs> I'm invincible. plate. <laughs> ah. I'm just bowling you over with these, aren't I? Do I have a cup of more? No, I think I'm done. That's fair, Striking. Striking's going into lurk mode. That's fair. Thank you very much for the lurk. <laughs> I respect and acknowledge and understand your opinion. Pun soul is satisfied. Nice. Anyway, my life has been a barren desert without you. I just have to make sure that you know that. Whenever I think of you, my heart break fasts because you're not here with me painting. Anyway, guys, go check her out. Give her a follow. Check out her streams when she's doing it. Go for it. It's She's absolutely amazing. All right. Let's get bake at it. Now it's just anything food related. Ugh. Done. Stick a fork in me. It's gonna need a biscuit to mop me up because I'm melted. Agrax. No, this is Skeletal Horde. It's kind of very, very similar. It's very similar. Skeletal Horde's bone. I need to get some of those new GW contrast paints. Yeah. 
There we go. Maybe two different kinds of bones there. Heard a boop. What? What kind of boop? What are you talking about? That's nonsense. But tell you what, just for you, we'll use some agrax. Tell you what, we'll do that. Boom. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes, please. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Oh, I caught one with a great ball. Yay! AFK, hey, that's fair. I'll be here. I'm going to put my pen. Oh, no, your pen. You need that to write down all your super important stuff. Hey, Zolf, how you doing? Tagged you. She runs and owns a game store. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see here. Um, one sec. Give me a sec. I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing. Uh, I met a person locally that had me join their Discord. But I wanted to do this. Share my portfolio. There we go. All right, all right, Vince, they tagged me, did a video. Ooh, oh, you said what the GW contrast paints look like. I misunderstood. I thought you meant what she looked like on a model, and I was really confused. Uh, yes, thank you so very much. I am 100% gonna check this out. I should have done a video like that. The old ones, but the one metal primer too. Yeah, uh, contrast over metal. Day one, everyone's talked about it. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. Um, 
everyone was always like, oh, have you put it over metal yet? Yes, it is amazing. <laughs> yes, and no, one of my favorite combinations is Gorgoncifer over any kind of gold. Anyway, Leah mentioned <coughs> Agrax Earthshade. So here we go. We're going to use that just for her. Mighty heart crashes and breaks you and brings you the most. The reach for every help. Far back on that shelf is earth from the mountain from once again. Now, nah, we were going to, I was going to wash it in a black or a brown. I hadn't decided which yet, so we're going to use brown. But yeah, this is a good example of that. Um, this is different because it's obviously a shader, but this is pretty much it. Metallics give a beautiful under undercoat uh, for lots of contrast paints, yeah. Especially uh, if you start messing with uh, metallics that aren't just silver. Uh, look at, like, uh, another one of my favorite combinations is Vallejo. Uh, what is the actual name of this color? Uh, metallic Blue from their uh, Mecha Color series. Uh, use that dry brush, a really pale blue, like Arctic Blue, or any kind of really bright blue on it. And then filter it down with, like, Talisar Blue or Pterodon Turquoise is just wonderful it's absolutely wonderful ah. speaking of running a game uh such owning a game store um oh man concerned appliance 89 i'm sorry i don't want to buy followers i appreciate it um but i'll hit you up next time oh wait no you've been deleted ah and banned oh no so i started painting miniatures for our board games i never ever heard of war game after twitch Warhammer after Twitch. I don't want to be famous. I don't. Well, not for not for Twitch streaming. Uh, maybe one day my um, OnlyFans will take off. That would be nice. But yeah. Oh, I knew that you were lurking. I didn't think any other mods were here. Really. Um, uh, I believe it when people say that they're going to lurk. I believe them. Okay. Um, what is this? Wait, there's a text command in there I don't recognize. Oh, that agenda is not accurate. I can ban you? Oh, striking. There you go. You can ban uh, Leah. Don't do it. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Oh, you timed her out, but it also deleted... Uh, 22 of her messages, sir. <laughs> She's been dimed out for 107 seconds? Just for funsies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Acrylic Geek, thank you so very much. Welcome, welcome. I Hi, how are you doing? Absolute pleasure to have you here. Check out the portfolio. I am Good Enough Painting. My name is Ricky. I paint miniatures for people that can't paint them for themselves or don't want to. All of that good jazz. This is what we're currently working on. I'm about to say that this is indeed good enough, and we're going to move on to the next thing, but yeah. Hi. How did you find us? How cool are you? Ah. Uh, you also can't donate when timed out? Well, that makes sense, actually, because then you get to send a message with a donation, right? Please be my friend, too, if you go to front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to run the Stream Raiders battle. Totally free to play game, guys. You can click that little link uh, for Stream Raiders. I'll do the thing, exclamation point SR. It's totally free. You can drop units on the battlefield, and you get to participate in these awesome, fun little battles with us. Look at our little good enough army here. Look at all the skins. Look how cool those things are. I am your battle captain. I will captain. I'm going to... Um, I never know what spell to use. I usually just pick whatever epic I see first. What is this? What is this? This is this is a necromancer. Uh, that's a war beast. Cool war beast. Killing field. Let's go. But yeah, awesome. Thank you and welcome to the com community, acrylic geek. I can't wait to see the things that maybe you've made. Given the name, you might paint. I hope so, and I'd love to see it. I'd love for you to share the things that you've done. Let me give you some of that toxic positivity. And uh, 
hopefully we'll get to make some really awesome things together. I can't wait. All right, the battle's going really well, guys. Look at our look at our big dumb little marbles doing their thing. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, we're easily going to win this. Psyduck Dota top kills. However, Psyduck Dota, I don't see you in chat, so we're going to give the gold elsewhere. Let's see here. Let's see who got a lot of kills. Striking got the most kills and is actually in chat. Here we go. Striking. Take it. <gasps> Dude, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh my god. Thank you so very much, Striking. I appreciate it. Leah, you got a gifted sub. You've been subbed for three months. <laughs> Just haven't gotten to streaming yet. Oh my god, but he plans to. He, they plan to. So let's do this. Everybody, everybody. Give Acrylic Geek a follow so that if they do want to stream, they are just a little bit closer to affiliate. Right now, they have. I just, I just get. I think I might be your first follow. I think I might be your first follower. Wait, do you mean you haven't gotten to streaming yet? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I am your follower. I am your first follower, and I can't wait to see what you actually make. And uh, yeah, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. A gamer and an artist really likes to be creative in any way possible. The channel is a mix of the two. Oh, I'll bounce back and forth and see how it goes. I hope you enjoy the content. Hey, I am going to... Uh, my stream writers are still up. I'm going to love the content as long as you are true to yourself and you're just putting that little piece of yourself in there. No matter what it is, it's going to be good enough. Okay? Awesome. Awesome. All right. All right, stream writers. I didn't place a unit down. Oh, no. What are we going to place down? I think I'm going to place this in a little... Uh, another paladin. I have to place four of those for a quest. Crazy stuff I did last night. That would be the best memories. Blah, 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 blah. Jello. Hey, hello. How are you doing, Mad Cheese TV? You didn't have to. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. I appreciate. I really. I really appreciate you coming in here and saying hi and finding me and clicking that follow button. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Like that means so much to me. I yeah. I got a three. Oh dang. Okay. Pro tip: sell on eBay over Etsy. Depends on what it is. I tried selling some commission painted stuff, some stuff like some spare models and stuff that I painted on eBay. Uh. It's it's not as easy. <gasps> oh, wait. <coughs> All right, everyone. Music stop. Striken has been rolling D4, trying to get a 4 for like three days now. What happens? I have done my best not to ask, but he kept saying that we were safe. What happens tonight because you rolled a 4? If it's nothing, I'm going to be just as excited. July 3rd, lots of noise. I'm not safe anymore is all. Oh, I love it. Living on the danger side. Lots of noise. Yes. Uh, it really, I mean, there's been lots of noise in my in my neck of the woods for... Uh, oof. Oh, same items on both yesterday. Yeah, so eBay is going to be better for that kind of discoverability, sealed box products and stuff. Yes, 100%. <coughs> Because Etsy, it's it's you re people really have to find you. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, he's been going crazy all weekend. Tangrowth in chat, poke a catch. Go ahead and catch yourself some Pokemon. All right. Ah, my thing fell over. Yeah, guys, Jokoki handle. Look at this. They sent me a new one that's actually not a knockoff. How exciting is that? Ooh, I wonder if they did the polarity. Oh, the polarity doesn't matter. Matter because boom. It's more and more little. I know, right? That's yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, mine aren't painted. Yeah, I mean, like, true. It's also like really difficult to um to like get that momentum going on uh, eBay and Etsy. Fifteen isn't bad. Fifteen is not bad. All right. Comma, comma, comma. 
All right, what is next? Um, I want to call this good enough. I'm going to send a quick picture over to the customer for it. I like the variation on the cloak and stuff. Let's go ahead and look at our customer notes, though, first, before we say anything is done. Let's go ahead and open up the Microsoft Word document that they so lovingly made for me. Thank you again, Chem Nerds. Let's check this out. Oh, yes, you can look at this with me. If I just do this, and I do this, and I do this, and I hit OK. Holy striking! Dude! The bits! Oh my god! <sighs> For the 500, the 1500 bits! Dude! Thank you so very much! I appreciate it! Aww! Leah, oh, the 10! The 10 bits, too! Oh my god, look at you go! Thank you so very much! I love the little, the unicorn. What is that? What is that little heart thing? Would've been funny if it was one. <laughs> yeah, it would've. Oh, I get it. That's what the roll d20 was. Oh, dude, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Leah, your money, your 10 bits is just as wonderfully appreciated as Strykin's 1500. Thank you so very much. You're an amazing person. And uh, I can't wait to catch your streams more. And just having you here is, is is a genuine treat. I know that you're probably trying to get to go to bed here soon because, oh my gosh, it is late for you. But thank you so very much. Again, guys, Leah Pluridon, give them that follow. Go check her out. She's awesome. She's a super fun person to watch make stuff. And yeah, crazy, crazy cool person. It would have been funny. If it it would have been hilarious if it was one. <laughs> All right. So some art program over yes yes can't wait to see did you keep like samples of all the stuff that you made with the kids in that summer art program out of curiosity so you can show off what it is that we made all the stuff you made all right so these are the notes for the commission da, 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 da. also picking out what's next importance three stream no i asked them to say hey like let me know things that you want to see on stream so here we go bold okay no, no. Okay, so we've done this batch. All right, let's see here. Let's get in the monitor being boned. We skeleton monster. Cool. Helmet bright red with a sapphire blue hand. Uh, I'm not free handing that. I tried. Not going to happen. Um, which they, uh, me and Kemners, we talked about. Um, I said, I'll try, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, I'll post a painting I did. I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh. Um, the flame sword and maybe some light on the horn or shoulder from the light of the sword. The rest can be black with some trim gold where you would normally dry brush to shade. What? But they sent me a picture of it all metallic. I'm going to have to ask them about that. Did they want black metal instead of... <sighs> I may have messed this one up. Uh-oh, we might be repainting this Minotaur. Or at least making all the metallic black. I will send them a question. Huh. Let's, I'll, I'll, I'll ask them. I'll ask them. Because there's also... We can also add, like, rust and all that stuff to the, uh, to the Minotaur as well. But yeah, let's add a little bit of uh, OSL here from the Flaming Sword. And what color did they want that to be? Some light. Just so some light. Okay, cool. So we'll do some yellow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pie Master, hi! How are you doing? How are you doing, Pie Master? Pie Master is amazing. Pie Master, actually, fun fact, as I learned from the recent video that you guys all made for me, my, or that one of my wonderful um, people made for me, Matt, um, you can see it there. Pie Master was my first ever subscriber. And as I look back and I reflect at this last year of painting and being on Twitch, uh, your support, uh, he's also one of the first people that ever um, asked me to paint models for him. Uh, it was before I was even accepting any money for it. John, good enough painting probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for your 
trust and faith in me with that first little bit of dwarves that you had and your continued support every single day since then. You're an incredible friend, an incredible viewer, and uh, I can't wait to um, continue to get to know you better. And hopefully my time will open up more and we can play more together, uh, some more games and stuff. But thank you so very much. I just wanted to say that. I know that you are that you might even just be watching or like throwing me up on a computer screen right now because I know that you're visiting your friend, I think, still. But thank you so very much. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to send a message to the customer now because I, before I forget. All right, I just sent them a question asking them about that. Saying, hey, Minotaur, you sent a picture of a metallic silvers, but then said painted black. Do you want it like silver armor with gold trim, skeleton rusted armor, or black metallic armor? We'll see what they say. If they do come back and they say, hey, we want black metallic armor, well, that's really easy, like Van Sunny was just mentioning. We'll just use a contrast paint and go ahead and filter all of this beautiful shading and stuff that we did with the undercoat of the uh, metallic silvers, and we'll make it all black with that, which is, this is kind of how I would paint it anyway. If it was going to be black metallic armor, I would underpaint it like this and then filter it. But yeah, you can see things like this, where we actually manually added all that highlighting and stuff in. Yeah, so. Little Bird, hi! Speaking of amazing people, uh, Little Bird is a really, really, really awesome streamer, incredible friend, and just one of the sweetest people you're going to meet on the internet. Go check out her channel, guys. She plays a lot of FPS games, like here, Warzone. <laughs> We've played Destiny and stuff together before. Um, and yeah, she's absolutely incredible. Go give her a follow. Go check out her channel. She plays Stream Raiders and PCG. The new black contrast paint looks intense. Somebody just sent me the video to go to look at all those. Oh, yeah, she is also the Sus Queen, yes. And she did get that name here, I think, in our channel, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least from one of the brush nibblers. I think it might have been Wheelie Cute. But yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. But yeah, um, I just, I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but I'll watch it tonight after stream, checking out all the new contrast paints, and I might go pick up some of them here in the next coming weeks. I should have, I should have made a YouTube video on them or something, but that would have required, one, the time to record another YouTube video, and two, foresight, which, not not a thing, not a thing yet. One day, maybe. I'll take, I'll, I'll cross-class into Divination Wizard, I guess, or something, I don't know. All right. Do we have anything else ready to paint for the Chemnerd's order? We do. Okay. They said no. They didn't care about this one being um, on stream. So we'll go ahead and paint this guy up next. Hey, and Leah posted up a thing that they made. And some, def a few you want to get, and some you'll get. Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, let's check out what she posted. Now you guys have to go to the Discord to find it. You have to join our wonderful community and say nice things about it there. But let's see here. <coughs> oh wow. Well she didn't put it in the art gallery. That's fine. She put it in general. Wow. These paintings are amazing. This, sorry, this painting and the picture that inspired it is absolutely incredible. I love like how you like increase this the slope and stuff on that on that hill when you made it a painting. It really helps to add just I don't I don't want to say interest. Like you can see the difference between like the real picture and then what she did. She enhanced so much with it. Like everything from like 
but kept some of the like, most key elements, like the blue in the sky. Oh my gosh. But you can see here how she like made it more intense with the uh, the slope of the hill and the and more greens over here. It's she's amazing work, Leah. Uh, guys, we found the bard. Hmm? Oh yeah. Oh, Kemner's hi, hi. Jolene, hi, hi. Can I get a shout out for Jolene, please? I need to show Kemner's his armor. Okay, so right now it's very very bright. Because I was going off the picture. But like I was saying to the chat, um, if I was going to paint black armor, this is exactly how I'd start. I'd paint it all in like shades of metallic silver. Let's go ahead and get your other lighting options. And then I would filter it and make it black with a contrast paint, which is what we can do here. But you let me know, Kem. And then I tried to freehand a tiny little blue sapphire hand on there. That is beyond me, um, especially considering we'd also need to do it on this guy and other stuff. That is 100% that is beyond me. And I couldn't find a good water decal transfer. Black with the contrast, so make it more black. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Newcastle has joined the Discord. Please pay attention to the Introduce Yourself channel. Oh, wait, that's me. That's the bot telling me. If you go to Introduce Yourself, you'll be able to fill out a form. And then from there, ah, oh, Pie Master, you're playing a game of Warhammer. I love it. If you fill out the Introduce Yourself form, you would be able to go and introduce yourself and then get, um, I forgot to mention on the anniversary of how, like, how the high evolved. I didn't even notice that. I'll have to watch it again. I mean, I do watch it like several times a day. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to thin down a little bit of black Templar here. Or do I want to just throw it through the airbrush? Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to throw it through the airbrush, I think. And then I was like, hi, how you doing? Yeah, because I, like, I got more comfortable and I wasn't like, hi, shut up and paint, Ricky. I do like that I got more comfortable, yes. Here. Yeah, we're gonna maybe overspray a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, go lay down. Ben Sunny, you have a good night. And I will catch you next time. Oh, Pie Master Ruthie ready to lay down as well. Thank you. Again, hey, as with all my kind words earlier, thank you, John. This wouldn't be here without it. Everyone's going to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night. Get some rest. Have a good 4th of July. If you're going to go do something, make sure you're safe. Uh, make sure to uh, remove all gloves when using fireworks. And um, remember, if you need to hold them in your mouth to light them, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Don't listen to that. Don't, don't listen. Be safe. Be safe with fireworks. Read the instructions or something. I don't know. <sighs> ah, Jabow. <gasps> Jolene Perler, you've never caught a pharaoh before. Okay, so this is probably... <laughs> We're going to try and get a little precise here with the detail, with the uh, airbrush here. Where am I at? Have I gotten anywhere this week? Yes, 676 out of spawnable. 
I've caught, oh guys, I've caught almost 700 species of Pokemon. Okay, action looks good. Okay. Dropper, bottle. Floyd as well. Mm, contrast. Not contrast me. Airbrush thinner. Okay, cool. Just two drops here. One, two. Then a drop here. Okay. Blow that through the airbrush. Done. And then we're going to go ahead and thin everything down. A couple drops of that. First ever game with Warhammer painted stuff. Dude, I'm so excited. I painted those things. So you don't catch stuff. Hey, you caught my heart, Jolene, with your amazing stuff. <gasps> I see that we have a new brush nibbler in the community. In the Good Enough Army, I'm gonna get you some. I'm gonna get you an artisan roll, and then from there, acrylic geek, you can go ahead and go to the Get Your Rolls channel and get some awesome rolls. Open up different areas of the Discord. See, I don't catch stuff. Throw it back. <laughs> Throw the heart back. Ah. <laughs> All right, and then Black Templar. Okay. It's all I can take. Oh, Epic Game Show TV. What's up, Ben? How have I been? I've been amazing. Bernie, how are you doing? Touch up some of the details? Oh, yeah, I would love to. I was kind of uh, nowhere near as good of a painter as when I started those, but I would love to do them. I'd love to kind of give you a little bit of a redo and a touch up there on those. Yes. Unless, of course, you're talking about like that you broke parts of them, and that's also okay too. I can I can fix that as well. <laughs> ah, but how have you been? Burmy, Burma. Mrs. says it looks amazing. Okay, wait. So are we doing the black? Are we doing the black? Because it will darken that a lot, and I might re-highlight it a little bit. We're doing the black. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we are doing the black. Okay. Ooh, okay. I would never. Mostly never. Maybe a few. Hey, that's totally okay. That is a hundred percent to be expected by Master. I would love to touch those up for you when you get back in town and also give you the rest of your fire slayers. Where is... Here we go. Uh, can't complain. Glad to see you at it still. Hey, thank you so very much. Uh, I will always be at it. Doing my own little thing. I appreciate you coming here and saying hi. Let me see here. Wait. Um, The double raid... Where do I know you from? I just looked at our message history, and I don't. Burmy, where do I know you from? Where, where did you? How did you find me? How did you find me? Was it, was it PCG related? Cause yeah. Oh, we're gonna fix that later. Doop. Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna start on a nonsense piece of art. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what is my PSI at? Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, 35. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, you haven't been streaming in the past month or so. Okay, okay. Maybe my message history through stream elements got really, really strangely deleted. Because actually, that's not showing up in my logs. But oh my gosh. I, duh, you're a streamer. Hi. Hi, everybody. I don't think I've ever gotten actually a chance to watch you. I don't get to watch anywhere near enough people. Uh, my day job keeps me way too busy. Let's do it. Let's do it. What were you playing last? Oh, last day on Earth survival. And then what game is this? Is that a mobile game? Oh. I love mobile games. Oh, no, you were revealed. You were killed by a fetid corpse. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I just want to be with you, be with you, be with you. All right, my... I played a little bit of uh, Marvel Contest of Champions uh, from my mobile phone on stream a couple of times. I might actually just get an iPhone to make stuff like that easier. So the trick to doing some smaller detailed stuff is you're going to barely want to pull back that trigger. I mean, like, zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah, Reload. It is an incredibly fun game. Token Dragon is actually how he met me. He's my alliance leader in MCOC. And, uh, yeah, I one day randomly was like, hey, guys, I'm playing MCOC on my Twitch stream if you want to check it out. And he got hooked. I love it. Okay, so when you're doing black armor, you don't want your armor to be fully black. Unless you're going for like a really matte, crazy black armor. Oh, 53,000. Oh my gosh. Since we did all of this beautiful underpainting. Actually, my airbrush game is kind of on point today. I'm going to be honest. We might not have to touch anything up here. Because, again, all of that beautiful underpainting we did. And this is, again, a clear translucent paint that we're just color filtering with. Get the sword here. Oh, wait. That still has an active wash in there. Okay. Oh, I love it. I do love it. Okay. Yeah, it's coming together here. Chem nerds, if you are still listening, oh my god, this looks so much better. I'm glad I caught the note about making it black. You know, there's a long time ago where uh, there was no way that I ever would have dreamed that I could actually be even semi-precise with an airbrush, but oh my gosh. Guys, I've gotten so much better with this thing. Oh my god. There's nothing to tidy up. Uh, There's like no overpainting anywhere. I guess this is an easy one too because it's it's there's it's lots and lots of metal. 
Uh, and the gold really cuts through wonderfully. Okay, let's go ahead and get the sword here. A1 steak sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, block off that helmet there. We don't want that. Ooh, Fall Guys time. Dude, you gotta let me know how many wins you get. How many dubs? I'm a blade hoof of done. I also like leaving that chain mail just with the black wash and stuff on it. Done. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Did I miss anything real quick? No. We gotta add a wash to the things here. Okay. All right, chem nerds. There is your black armor. And I'll give you the different lights and stuff here. Oh my god, I love it. Once it gets sealed with a matte medium, with a matte varnish and stuff, it's going to look even better. But I'll get you here. There it is, just normal. And then, here we go. Nice and black. Oh, I love it. The gold trim. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, cool. I'll put that in the thing. I'll get Oriana to get take pictures and get a final, like, here you go from you. And then, yes. Okay, uh, Stream Raiders. We're going to run Stream Raiders. Um, and then after that, we will be painting up this little duder. -da -da -da. Thank you, Acrylic Geek. Airbrushing is awesome. It's kind of where you start in high school. That's actually really cool. I love having an airbrush now. It's incredible. It's so much fun. Why don't I just throw it on haste? This is a more difficult fight. I usually do that for easy fights. Uh-oh. Ro Roggy. Hopefully this guy knows what he's doing. It looks like he has all these 30s over here with the marbles. I think he probably knows something that we don't. <laughs> oh, but wait. There it is. Epic game show. It's it's Straken's Barbarian. Shadow Barbarian. We're good. We're going to win. Every time he drops this, I just know it's an auto win. Jul uh, July 4th, Aphelion Day. Uh, I don't know what Aphelion means, Resite. Do you want to inform me of that? I'd love to learn a little bit more about July 4th. Misty, Josakura, Rustam. Take some scrolls. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, lots of patties over here. Um... What's this actually do? Oh, 50% increased speed to units. Okay, and healing over here. Okay, cool. So then... Let's go ahead and put this guy down here. Little little vampire. If there's any other little vampires, they could go here. That'd be fun. Little vampire army. Didn't ever hurt nobody. App Helion. Helios. Oh, Helios. Is this oh Helios? Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. My bad. <laughs> oh, is that that like halfway through the year thing that you were talking about? Aphelion. Oh, Aphelion. Aphelion. It's when the Earth is farthest from the sun. Oh, okay, okay. A Paris appeared. Great balls, guys. Weekly quest. Catch yourself a Paris. Look at it. Look at it. Good. Black's done. We're going to call that done. Um, let's look at how this thing is supposed to be painted. And give ourselves a little bit of a head start here with this undercoat. Okay, I don't do NMM, usually. Definitely not on the entirety of a model. Um, I need to pick up some projects in which I work on non-metallic metals a lot more. 
Um, it's a painting style, as you can see right here, without using any uh, metallic paints that have pigments in them. I need to work on it. I will not be working on it for a commission. So we're looking just for gold armor. Uh, the armor and the sword being this gold and black. More gold and fancy than black, okay. But some blood on the sword of Fable. The body is very dark red. And the helmet being the bright red of Bert with a sapphire blue hand as the symbol. Okay. No way I can get a sapphire hand on there. However, we'll look into it. Oh. Um, cold. The cold uncle himself. I love it. Okay. Oriana just texted me. Oriana is my wonderful wife. Um, she's going to bed, so I'm going to go take the dog out last time. And we're going to undercoat this in uh, some colors. We'll start working on it. But let's go ahead and clean out the airbrush real quick first. We don't want to leave paint just sitting there. So give me a second. I do too. Yeah, it's it's one of those things like it. customers ask for it a lot because it looks really good. But one, in terms of good enough painting and time, it's a huge time commitment. Um, but yeah. And it's also just like a little bit beyond my skill set, being honest with both myself and the people that pay me for it. It's a no for me, dog. I've been practicing a little bit whenever I can, unlike small things, but gold I've never even tried. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to love them. I can't wait too, man. You send me a picture anytime. All right, back channel the airbrush a little bit here. Good deal. Okay, now I'm going to let that soak there. Hit the sack. You go, go. It seems really hard and time consuming. Yes, it is. It is very much both of those things. But it's incredibly impressive. So what we're going to do is we're going to do gold and black on this armor. I'm going to look up this model and see what other people have done in terms of armor separation and stuff. And we're gonna do a brighter red helmet and then dark red skin. So his helmet's gonna be a little bit brighter than this guy's, but we'll figure it out. All right, folks, I'm gonna go take my puppy outside and I will be right back. I'm gonna run a real quick ad and then go to the break screen. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna run an ad, done. Twitch automatically did it for me a little bit. We're just gonna go to the break screen. Make sure to use that shout out command, shout out any of the people that you wanna Anyone else to follow, to know, to experience, enjoy the clips, and I will catch you in just a few. Goodbye. Bye-bye now.
Hi, I am back. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Look at all those shout outs. Tia, what is that little glass jar thingy called that we're putting the hand of Venka, Veka and Venka in? We might be doing some shopping here on stream in a bit. Scale 75 is running a sale on paint. <gasps> and other stuff. Ooh, and that means, actually, guys, I get to pick out the next little bit of the chem nerds job that we're going to do. Because Orana's going to have to take some pictures here. It's called a floral dome. Okay. I'm going to make a note of that real quick. All right. I think, yeah, there's like a technical name for it, but yeah, floral, do yeah, this is exactly what we need. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Tio Mos Frio and I are doing a craft off um, where we are going to be sculpt mold. Yeah, there's no way. Oh man, I wish you'd said something to me. There's no way sculpt mold would work for that. Oh no, no, no. Um, we're doing a craft off where we're going to both attempt to um, create a hand of vent cap, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, Vecna, Vecna. Jesus, why don't... <sighs> and I think you said you wanted to make this specific one. Yeah. You wanted to make this specific one. So we're both going to try and recreate something similar to this. And yeah. I have ideas. And he has ideas. And we're going to... I don't even know if it's a competition. We're just both going to make a thing. And you'll get to see the different ways. Um, I'm going to be recording my whole process. You won't get to watch it live. But you'll be able to watch it on a YouTube video. It'll be my return to YouTube. Um, will be this video. I'm very excited. But he's already got, like, he's working on the hand. He's got this thing picked out. He has a good eye already. I'm going to be, um, uh, it's going to be a while before mine is done. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I am looking forward to doing something like this. It's going to be, it's been a while since I've done anything like that. And we both, um, have, a. This is really far outside of both of our comfort zones, so I'm very excited. Okay. What do we got here? Um. I don't have a good spot for this stuff yet, for this kind of stuff. Um, 3D prints that weren't failures, but um, that I'm going to use for bits and bobs elsewhere. Um, I don't have a good spot for that yet, so it's just going to go over here. This is going to go over there somewhere. And then we're going to grab our stack of little thingies here, and we're going to find oh, out what model this actually is. Um, because I want to see where other people decided to do, because the, the reference photo is a little bit beyond me. So I'm just going to go off the notes here. Gold and black armor. Just being honest with myself, since it's not metallic, we're not doing the non-metallic metal. Can't quite do that. Might not even be in here. It's not. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Let me just do a double check here. Uh, no, it's not in here. That's it. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll figure it out. All right. Okay. Oh, it's a helmed horror. Duh. I should have just looked at the notes. From Chem Nerds, okay. So we're gonna look this up. Duh. I did mean Helm Tor, thank you. 
and I need to, to stop craving pizza at also 2 a.m. Hey, uh, fun fact, you can buy a frozen pizza and then actually eat it at 2 a.m. I'm not going to be helpful here because I love late night pizza, especially if it's cold and like, oh, I love it. Just I can't. Oh, my God. So good. From like the day before. Oh, my God. Okay. Kind of something like this, with some black added in. Let's see here. Got chain mail, some different armor plates, some black accents here. Um, no, stop. Get out of here. Weird. This guy's paying, paying, charging thirty dollars for that. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. <clears throat> All right, um, look at the notes again. Blood on sword of table, that's fine, yeah. Uh, more gold and fancy than black, okay. You have a frozen pizza, but no, why not? It's just pizza, it ain't never hurt nobody. Let's put hand painted into the filter here, okay. Uh, no, that one's $26, oh geez. I'm doing the wrong stuff here. Okay, this is good. Okay, wait, wait, here we go, here we go. I wanna I see the images. Ah, okay, fine. Can't stand long enough to make it up. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just was like, uh, I for a second there. I I I, meant, I thought you meant like you just were so lazy, but I, like I realized it probably isn't that. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> um. We'll paint Death Knight and Helm Tor. Okay, RPG elements. Let's look at his stuff. He takes good pictures at the very least. Let's look here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. This would be tough. This is going to be tough to get both those colors in there. We're definitely going to prime this baby black. <coughs> I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. All your muscles really hurt. Oh, did you do, uh, did you have like yours, uh, was it Zumba that you do? I cannot ever remember. Or uh, is it something else? Okay. I like this with just the black accents. But we're also gonna do red skin. It's Zumba, okay, okay, that's what I thought. I need to get a table and start doing this for the Etsy shop. $45, what? Am I missing something? Guys, there's a small chance that I might undercharge for stuff, I'm gonna be honest. So $5 for the pack, and so $35, oh geez, for the painting, wow, okay. Um, yeah, this guy is awesome, RPG Elements. If you ever need something, he has an incredible inventory, an incredible selection. 
Uh, I kind of based a lot of my uh, Etsy store off of his. I just charge a lot less and have so much less inventory. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, so can I pause this at the right time? All right, perfect. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Misty. Okay. I can do th I can do this. <sighs> All right. Thinking of the best way that I want to do this. We're definitely gonna start by priming this black. I think that's going to be the best bet for us. <laughs> So you guys start thinking more about how I'm underpainting and um, prepping stuff. Um, there's been a couple of instances recently where I um, just kind of start doing stuff. It kind of kicks you in the, it kicks you right in the shin sometimes. I left his hooves black, just highlighted. Not sure. Oh, well, he comes off of that. That's good to know. Oh my god. What? What? That's. Oh my god. Oh, because it was there was a clear part. Okay, so this is what I'm actually talking about. This is why I have an issue with WizKids. If there is a single clear translucent part, the whole of the model is printed in that plastic. In that clear plastic, which is really brittle. And in my in my opinion, a, an inferior product to something like this, their normal injection molded stuff. Um, yeah, and it's attached to the normal stuff. But it's good to know that it comes off of the base, because that means we don't have to use this generic D and D Whiz Kids ground texture base thing for this, <laughs> which is nice. You guys know how much I hate these, and I cut them off of a lot of models when I go to actually base things. But we're going to put this guy in the box of stuff to get approval from the customer. Huzzah! It's coming along nicely. Nicely. Lots of reds, a paint that I color that I don't use too, too often. <sighs> Prime this black. We don't need super, super amazing coverage on it. So... We're not going to go with like the aerosol one. We're just going to throw some black primer in the paint, in the, um, whatchamacallit, in the airbrush. Shoot. Do I have anything else like right here that I need to prime black? Um, let's look at the skeletal horse since it's right here as well. Um, and then that's actually it for part one of Chem Nerds. Uh, my thinking is that there's going to be six parts to this. Maybe maybe ten? Something like that. Okay. Um, no, we're not going to prime this one black. We're going to do this one by hand, I think. With uh, We're going to do other stuff to this guy. Probably do that model tomorrow. I've had larger ones that usually pop off. I always think I break them. Yeah, that one clearly just popped off, though. It even has the pegs. Um, I've broken them plenty of times. But yeah, that one, it just looks like it just popped right off. All right. Um, oh, yeah, that exact one to paint for the campaign. That's awesome. We're going to be painting it like this. Sort of. This is the notes from them. Something like this here, as close as you can get to the horse, but with black and white to the flames. Oh, with blue and white to the flame. I've never painted blue flames before. That's gonna be a fun challenge. <laughs> oh, we're definitely gonna do the same kind of fire. That doesn't make any sense. Um, Definitely black hooves, yeah, I agree. 
the same with black and gold, more fancy than black armor for the Helm Tor, okay. <coughs> I need to find a water decal transfer for um that blue hand, chem nerds. I need to or something. I I need to think of something to do there. Especially if there's gonna be a lot more models with it. I'm looking forward to doing it. I can do it as a transfer. Decals. Amazing. <coughs> I would just need to find one. You have one of those to paint? Oh my god, you should totally paint it. Ah, I did not. I normally don't stream on Sunday, so that's totally fair, Bron. But my wife and I don't have to go into the office tomorrow. Or she doesn't have to go into the office tomorrow. So I don't have to wake up at 6 a.m. to help her get ready and help take care of the puppy and stuff. So I am streaming tonight and tomorrow. Because uh, she also took Tuesday off, so she doesn't have to go in. So yeah, you guys are getting uh, Sunday, Monday streams. You guys are going to get me like seven days in a row. Seven days this week is the plan. Hey, do I have any more raid codes? Did you use the um, Power Starter and my Deliana? Those are the only two that I know of right now. And those are, again, only for new accounts like yours. Unfortunately, I, I get nothing. So if you use those two, that's all I have. That's all I know about. All right. Oh, nice. Here we go. Loyalty boss chest, guys. Get yourself some, some epic scrolls. Lots of gold and, sorry, rare scrolls. Let's do it. Their own style. I know. It's so exciting. Oh, on cooldown to me and crack codes. Yeah, that happens. I notice every time. Yes, this is the second time this song is played today. Because this playlist is now... Da, 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 an hour and 33 minutes. And we have been live for three hours. Pretty certain I put in for the power starter. My Deliana might not, no longer be active. I would try Googling active codes tomorrow once you're off cooldown and giving it a look see. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to prime this. And then, after this is primed, we're going to switch gears to something else for a little bit. Well, that primer settles and dries and tacks. And then we'll come back to it. Sound good? I think it sounds great. Uh, we don't need a lot. Actually, it's already primed because of the WizKids primer. So, yeah. Question about your double tap, Bron. Do you, does it happen to you when you're using like a, a phone keyboard as well? Or is it just mouse and keyboard, like a normal keyboard? <gasps> Roll D4. Not again, sir. I want to stay safe this time. That was too generous. What if you got a 20, man? Unless it's a different one. Crit? Oh, don't even. Roll D100. What do you get, T.O.?
Done. Okay, just the keyboard. You have two different ones, and it still does it. So it's just you. Oh, no, I meant like a uh, swipey text, like when you're using a phone keyboard. All right, striking gets, rolls a percentage die and gets a one. Oh, God. What, I don't know what to do. Do I just log off for the night? Um, No, you let me. Well, you always roll with advantage, man. Make sure you always are rolling two dice and taking the highest. Oh, my gosh. Should see you play FPS. I imagine that would be terrible. Oh, my God, I realized that. So, yeah, if it's not just typing and it's all the time when you use a keyboard, that would be... Oh, dude, I'm so sorry about that. That seems like a... I don't know if it's if it's like a tick or a habit or something. Oh, my gosh. It's not how it works. All right, well, man, I'll miss you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I like you. Stay here with me. Oh, uh, no, you have to pour the beer on your lap. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think you have to finish the beer and start doing shots. I think you have to do a roll d4 and then take some shots. This is how that works. One D four shots. That's how many shots he has to do. Beer be grabbing his <laughs> he, to, he poured the beer in his lap. Oh, Restate, if you are in chat, you need to check your Discord immediately. It looks like you have been, your account has been stolen due to clicking on a link. It is a current scrub scam that is going on. Um, guys, the scrub scam kind of looks like this. Somebody um, sends you a message. The current one that's been floating around is, uh, so I've gotten it from like three people today. Uh, hey, um, I don't know what happened or if it's really you, but it was your name and the same avatar and a girl. And you sent a girl erm um, stuff. Uh, whatever it happens is I'm blocking you, and the idea is to make you click this link that says shame, exposing, packing, arguments, etc. Or another one is yep, it's that one right there. As you can see here, uh, almost twelve thousand people have have fallen for the scam. Do not click this link. If somebody sends you a message with a link to a Discord and a message about you having sent pictures to somebody, do not click the link, folks. This goes for anything. If somebody just sends you a random Discord server out of nowhere, what happens is you click that link, it asks you to log into your account, you do so, and then it steals your account, and then it sends it to all of your friends. It sends the same message, scrub message, to all of your friends. Scrub, scrub, I forgot which one it is, but do not click it, please. It's so easy to do. I've almost done it before. I actually did click one, but luckily I didn't authenticate my account. I have that nice two-factor authentication set up, and I caught myself, or Shadow did. So, yeah. Uh. <coughs> use a hand pad so it's not so bad. When I use a keyboard, go on hammer time the keyboard and not looking directly. Mm, that's fair, that's fair. Did you actually, striking? did you actually pour a little bit of beer on your lap? Oh my god. <laughs> I love it if you did. I took your encouragement and made a leap and posted in work in progress in the Discord. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Joke's on them. I don't know my login. Well, that's the thing. It's, it logs in there. It says, hey, do you want to give us your access? Then it accesses your Discord account directly. It doesn't even need your login and password. Kind of just like you're joining a new server where you, you validate your account. Okay, work in progress in the Discord. Acrylic, oh my god. This is incredible. This is incredible work, my guy. Oh my goodness. 
your highlighting up to that white is absolutely stellar. It's over the moon. This purple is so vibrant, and then the shadows are deep. This is incredible. Oh. I'm glad you took this leap, and I'm glad you shared with me. Thank you so very much. Oh, this beard is... I never can get my white beards to look this good. This is... This is insanity. Dude. Oh my god, I even see like the slight hints of light on this side of the face from the spell effect. I see what you're doing here. Oh my god. This beard, I'm actually kind of... losing my shit over this beard. The grays and darks into this beautiful white. Oh my god. And oh, I just see it. I see it now, actually. Do you see this? This is like a, um, since it's a sorcerer, it looks like um, he did a, a, a star astral thing on the cloak where he splattered ink on it and has it in cosmic colors, like cosmic purple and stuff. Oh, my God. Dude, this is, this is amazing. Am I pointing in the right direction? I am. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you. I'm not even just proud of what you've done here. It is always good enough. Um, I'm just proud of you for sharing. Thank you so very much. Thank you for taking that leap with us. And oh, my gosh. Thank you. This made my day. Looking at it, zoom out. Zoom out. See, guys, you know it's a really, really good paint job. When I can do this, and it still looks so clean and precise. But look at it from here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. That is incredible. And the white is almost looks metallic. Oh my god. This staff. I thought the staff. I didn't look at the staff. I thought it was just getting prepped for painting. It looks solid black. Yeah, this isn't done. He's, he's doing this. So really, really good painters, guys. They usually finish this, an individual aspect of the model, like something like this, or the effects, or like the beard, and they do it a piece at a time. So he just started that. He just did that little metallic there because he had metallics here. So the staff is a hundred percent just maybe maybe a base coat or it's just black. Well, yeah, what model is this? Interesting. Good question. Also, guys, Scale seventy five is doing a um, a uh, sale right now. Uh, code firework. I need to, uh, I might see if they have these. Uh, I gave two of my um, instant color sets to uh, a kid that did one of my paint nights at a uh, local game store. Okay, cool. They, it looks like they have them in stock, but let me make sure that we are in. Uh, what? Eh, gross. English. <coughs> oh, it's a Loot Studios. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to um, uh, prep some models to print off for a reload. Whoops, my bad. Yeah, I need to replace uh, potions and fla poison, poison flasks and uh, I think berserker potions. <coughs> no, I have berserk and summon um, and mana. Sorry. I need to replace Poison and Revive. Those are the two that I gave him. And then, who did I give the Summon to? I wasn't a huge fan of it. I gave that to somebody else. Summon was kind of, eh, okay. It was a little too muted for me. But poisons was nice. Oh. I'm not going to show you guys the embarrassing amount that I'm about to spend online. We'll do that some other time. <laughs> okay. Um, because I got super distracted there. Yes, reload. After stream tonight, I'm actually going to start. I have the uh, space heater running in the um, um, on the 3D printer now to keep that resin nice and warm. So I can start it. No, sorry, the heating fan. Because it gets very cold in my basement. That helped so much.
Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Do you want to see my last attempt at a white beard? About two hours after base coats and block and cut. See, this guy's a pro. Absolute pro. It's there in the portfolio. There's a frost giant somewhere. Let's see here. Uh, after the dragon, before the dragons don't share, before the Marvel Crisis Protocol, terrain, before the Lord of the Rings. Oh wow, this is a really old model. Wait, hold up. Did I pass it? I think I might have passed it. Yeah, I passed it. Oh well. Two hours. That's incredible. Now remember, guys, if you can't do that in two hours, please do not get discouraged. That comes with many, many, uh, a lot of practice with painting and things like that. And even if you can't achieve that with 15 hours, what you're creating is just as amazing as something like that. Do not ever forget that. Yeah, you're going to do amazing things on Twitch with that level of painting. I'll tell you that much right now. Because there's two kinds of people that do amazing with miniature painting on Twitch. Those that are at your incredible skill level. And those that just kind of have fun with it. And also just like are a little bit more whimsy with it. Um, those are two very, and it sounds like you have a great personality that's fun and whimsy, as well as that incredible skill. I can't wait to see how fast and amazing your stuff takes off. I know I'll try and watch when I can. Hey, strike in great ball buddies, great ball buddies. Oh yeah. I need this thing in the um in the uh Sonic washer soon. Hmm. I me sweating. Oh, I hate out of 15 dot. Nice. Okay, cool. We're going to save this one for tomorrow. We're going to do both of those at the same time, I think. And right now, what we're going to get back to is some other stuff. Ah. For about a year, three to four hours a day this last year. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Like, I've been doing this for three or four hours a day for a year or so. And, yeah, it definitely comes with time.
Sorry. Dipped into miniatures about four years ago. That's about when I started. In earnest, I guess. Maybe a little bit less. Oh, it's actually, no, never mind. That's a lot longer. <laughs> I did it in earnest about maybe two years ago. Two and a half or so. Oh, no, wait. <coughs> Three. Dang. Energy is infectious. Aw, that's exactly what I want to be. I, I want to be toxically positive about everything that everybody makes. It is incredibly important to me because there are so many places in the internet that you can go to and you can get, un which is also, yeah, you've joined our community. <coughs> just, a, just basic rule for the Discord. Um, it's in there somewhere, but there is no unsolicited um, comments and feedbacks on anything unless requested. And the gallery is pictures only, so that, and you can create a little thread if you want to like make comments and say, wow, that looks so great, or ask a question or something. Just remember that. Um, and uh, yeah, there's just a couple of things like that I care about for the Discord. Um, I can't wait to see all the things that you make. It's going to be so incredible. Uh, got me all giddy. Um, I want a bigger dry brush. <coughs> can I use this as a dry brush? Let's try it. We'll try it. Um, but yeah, uh, it, there's so many places online that you can go and just see uh, incredible stuff where people saying, this is trash. Here's my tabletop standard. Um, I need to make tabletop standard in a legal word in the Discord, I feel. <laughs> um, but yeah, all, all seriousness, it's... Um, it's, it just it just matters to me that people have a safe space to share their stuff like that's so important um, in a positive and, and like forward community that cares about them as a person and as a person that makes things because there's so many places you can go and you just don't get that <coughs> we'll try this we'll try this I just don't care about painting minis. I'm here all the time. Aww. That works. I guess time has proven that wrong, but you know, that's, that's, that is exactly what I started. I just, I was like, Hey, I want people to talk to. I don't have a lot of friends. Will you be my friends? And Strang was like, Oh wow. This is, this, this kid's really sad. I'm going to go check out his, I'm going to give him a follow. And then one day he decided to give me a watch and here we are. Make a wish. <laughs> there we go. That looks a little better. I like that. Okay.
oh, how did I texture it? I used a textured roller, um, this one specifically. Um, I rolled it over the whole piece, and um, because this is the pink foam, and it's not very, it doesn't actually take a texture roller that well, like I said, I'll show you, like this. And you can see how faint all of those lines are. Um, once I could see it, actually, let me get like that. Um, once I could kind of see the pattern, I went through with just a clay sculpting tool, this one specifically, and then, oops, I went through over every single tiny little line and stuff, and I kind of brought all the, all those lines and stuff out again. Like so. So after we did that for the whole piece, yeah, like that. So that's how we actually textured it all. Um, and then we primed it in the black Mod Podge and paint, and then painted it gray, added that wash to it, and now we are just dry brushing it to bring out those details again. This one, different kind of texture, um, I used uh, just a super, super tin foil ball. That was it. Looks like you glued many tiny stones in there. Exactly, that's kind of the idea, is to give it uh, that kind of look without actually having to do all of that, which I've done before. But yeah, I love these texture rollers. Um, I picked them for like, just really, really cheap on Etsy. Uh, I need to get more of them. Maybe, uh, maybe slightly stronger ones. The other one that I have that I used for this build is this one. Give him the rest. And before I use those texture rollers, I did actually do that. All right, so these I'm not gonna highlight anymore. And the reason why is because I am, uh, these are background. I don't want them to pop too much. So these are actually done and dusted. We're gonna call those done. Um, that's a big makeup brush. It's just a painting brush. I stopped buying, I used to buy these really, really big makeup brushes. They're called like, um, I think it was called like something in wild, crazy and wild or wild, crazy or whatever it is. But makeup brushes, when they get like this big, um, like for blush brushes and stuff or like blending brushes, um, they're a little bit, there's too many tiny, small fibers. There's just too many of them and they get ruined wet and wild. Thank you, Misty. Thank you. Wet and wild. Um, that was the cheap one I used. Uh, and I, and like I dry brush a little bit on it and it just doesn't stay up very well so that's why like this is about as big as I'll go for makeup brushes usually anything bigger like I just struggle to keep clean or because then it like cakes all together and stuff see do I still have one of those uh no I think I threw them all away because even after trying to clean them and stuff they just don't get clean very easily so I wanted to say hey well can I just try using this painting this house painting brush and it looks like yeah works just fine um, let's do the other rest of these other couple pieces of terrain here. These we want to pop a little bit more, so we're going to go off-white into a little bit of off-white mixed with white. Like this. Too much white, but that's fine. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, cleaning make makeup brushes is very tedious. Like these aren't so bad because they're so small, but those big ones, I don't know how. To... Well, I guess because you don't use acrylic water-based paints on them, I guess. Maybe that's how they how girls do it, or I guess anybody that applies makeup. Because <laughs> they put they use them for makeup and and like blush and stuff, not like thick body acrylic paint that you don't even water down. Clean makeup brushes. It's so tasty. I didn't even notice that you, that that was wrong until you pointed it out. Hmm. 
bit of the white here mixed with a little bit of the off-white. Besides that, um, the big ones do perfectly fine. I use pigment powders all of the time. We're actually not there yet, but we're going to be using those on a bunch of the build tonight um, on the on the book note builds. Uh, but yeah, they do great with that too. Makeup brushes, just in general. A little more? What? A little more what? A little more what? What's going on? Too much? And hop into Discord VC clean the brushes and it takes too much time. Say what? Too much? Oh, he says too much paint. Oh, all right. Well, let's we'll see what happens. We'll see what's up. We'll see what it looks like. Let's run stream raiders. Don't worry, there's always a plan. Don't you worry, buddy. I don't understand that. Why are you telling me not to uh not to paint things? I don't get it. Yeah, it's not like you. I don't think you've ever just been like, hey, do different before. Everything okay, man? Are you okay, man? Hey, Matches. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey. Matt is mad with sleep deprivation. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just to understand, what you were saying was that there was too much highlighting on this? Just to understand what you were saying. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, okay, okay. I think it's good enough. Plus, we still have to add pigment powders and stuff all over it, so it's going to actually tone it down a lot. Just like with the, um, oops, uh, just like with the uh, other stonework and stuff that we do. Do do it and late so I don't bend. And late so I don't mind. Hydrate? I can hydrate. Hydrate. Ah. 
Yeah, so when you add, um, actually it brings up a really good point. So when you highlight something, yes, this is very, very bright comparatively. Let's go ahead and put it in a better light too. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a bunch of pigment powders and stuff, reds, um, browns, and blacks. Um, and then, oh. And then I'll actually tone down this highlight a lot. So when you're underpainting and stuff, you can also spray it with like a real quick filter of like a gray translucent paint if you do feel like it's too much. But don't worry, it's going to get toned down. I did it to make a good point. Okay. Ah! Random side note. You let me know your random side note. My Hero Academia has a card game. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I mean, yeah, definitely pass for me, too. Um, I mean, given the number of uh, MTG and uh, other card games and stuff that I've gotten over the years. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have any time to play or anyone to really play with, I guess in local gaming stores, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, so UFS is doing it? UFC? Uf sorry, UFS? Wait, 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 all right, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I might actually be interested here, wait. Because I was really into UFS back in the day. Jasco. Okay. Exciting. I remember the, uh, I think it was the Kami deck. It was like, hey, do you have a high block? If the answer was no, you lost. It was a waterfall deck. I ran at tournaments and stuff. It was awesome. Uh, and then, like, I loved this game too because it was um uh they did uh <laughs> uh oh my gosh why am I having such a brain fire right now um they did the Godbacks. Ah, this brings me back. It wasn't this game. The game that I played actually is no longer made, I don't think. I don't think even the reprint is accurate. I don't think I could go get my old decks and stuff. Oh, actually, wait. Yeah, I totally could. It looks... Maybe? No, no, this game is totally different. Very similar. This is the company that bought UFS. Something about the, oh, this person has these powers, but really can do this. Uh, but can also do this. Yes, yes. I've never seen the show. Is it on Netflix? So is uh, My Hero Academia on Netflix? Here, settings and preferences. No. Hmm. I play Soul Calibur. I don't play any of those fighting games. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's on uh, Hulu. 
Wait, or is that just the movie? No, there, there it is. Yeah, it's on uh, Hulu. Nice. I will try. I'll check out the show. I never played any of the Soul Hallow games. I uh, or no, I think I played them a little bit at my friend's house. It was just too much. I suck at those kinds of games. I like games that can grind out, get better, and do PVE content. Ugh. <coughs> a quirk, except for a small percentage that get skipped. Oh, so kind of like um, the Reckoners series by Brandon Sanderson. All of the gods had like a power and some and a weakness, and some and so the powers sometimes were really really specific, and the uh, uh, like the something yeah like spiked arms or like. They don't ever have to reload a gun, or there's like some really good ones if you like stuff like that. Um, and then their weaknesses could be something like super specific, like a certain song playing, and they can hear it, and it turns off their power. Things like that. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing book series. Brandon Sanderson, The Reckoners. Yeah, weaknesses, yeah. No, sorry, I I got what you were saying. Yeah, weaknesses probably aren't explored the same way. But they had to, you know, Brandon Sanderson was writing a book. <laughs> different different story for sure. Uh yeah, amazing. Like but the powers, some of the some of the gods got really, really specific powers. And then uh, there's a huge segment of the population, this huge part of the population that just doesn't have powers, obviously. Although at that's at a certain point, like everyone in the fucking book does. Wasn't even close. And Assassin's Creed was distant second. Really? Soul Calibur was number... Oh, wait. Uh, women preferred fighting games. Oh. Neat. Um, but, yeah. Oh, look at that. And then we got the brush. Nice and clean. Done. Hero College to hone them. Oh, striking. That actually is, like, right up my alley. I will have to give that some watches. Some watch time. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another thing here. So net oh, it's on Netflix in Canada. Look at that. How does the thickness of this versus this look? That is definitely thicker a little bit, yeah. We'll figure it out. Let's give it a real quick test fit on everything here. Uh. Oops. Subtle powers that can be OP. I kind of like that vibe. You guys can see that perfect? No, I'm just kidding. There we go. There were so many of those collectible card games that were like nonsense back in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, stretch. I'll stretch. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. How are you doing, Delta Wolf? <sighs> you having a good time? Oh, it's the hot glue line up there. Doing good, that's so awesome to hear. Hmm, well, definitely fits. <laughs> Give it a little grab, see here. A little tight there. Let's go ahead and. I think. 
We might actually be good to do this here. <coughs> Sorry, folks. I just kind of need this out of my way. Oh, wait. I guess I should be checking to see if I've caught it before, before I start throwing great balls instead of the ultras. All right. We're working on this month's giveaway, which was given away to... Uh, one of them is going to Phantom Ghost, and the other one is going to Queen Sassy Cat. Uh, this is the Dwarf Forge thingy kind of book nook. Taking this tape off here. Aired 18 years ago. Wow, that's a, such a long time. Wow. Eighteen years ago, I was eleven. The one, thank you for the Earth Buster. No, we don't need to remove that because we're doing this one differently. That's right. Sorry. What we need to do is trim this down. Duh. Sorry, folks. My bad. Need to trim this down a little bit. Duh. Yeah, that. <gasps> Misty, the epic vampire. I love it. Thank you. Yes, I was hoping for a mini vampire party there, and I appreciate you helping me out with it. Perfecto. And this in here. Yeah, that was definitely going to be an issue. Okay, wait, here we go. There we go, like that. BRB, you got a 47. Okay, what happened? Oh, so you're going to be gone for 47 minutes, or you're going to go watch episode... Season 4, Episode 7 of a TV show. Okay.
like it, I like it, I like it, okay. Wombat Combat, how are you doing? Hi! How are you doing? Hi! Okay, Wombat Combat, such a cool person to watch. Go check them out. Please give them a follow. It would mean a lot to me. Let's see what they were doing. They paint models and they play really fun Warhammer games. Let's do one more. I think that was a very serious clip. Let's see if we can find a different kind of clip. Oh, what are you doing there, man? You don't want to eat that big fluffy piece of shit. Hell nah. Go get this person to watch. There are tons of fun. Just finished hobbing for ten and a half hours. Damn. <laughs> I just did my um well it's supposed to be twelve hours, but I'm still um making up from being sick i had my one year stream anniversary this friday or rather it was last friday uh, but this past friday i did the stream for it because then uh at that time i felt a little bit better um <coughs> you can check out the uh the video that my uh some of the viewers surprised me with there that goes over the first year of good enough painting here on twitch and it was um uh and if you check out the vod from friday's stream uh you can watch me sob like a baby for 20 minutes <laughs> but yeah it was incredible oh vamp party what's striking got striking's got the epic vamp oh my god guys it's a vamp party but go check this person out go check out wombat they paint amazing things looks like they make pizzas and they play video games they are the whole package do not dare let yourself miss out on the amazing deal that is wombat combat prime <laughs> Let's see here. Campaign. Let's look at the vampire party. Yay! Look at the vampire party! Yay! I love how no matter what the event is, vampires are still just awesome. They heal each other, they get stronger. Oh, see, like, Main Strike can have the ones that get increased movement speed and attack speed, and Misty's got the one that gives allied vampires bonus damage. This is going to be a devastating 1-2-3 knockout punch. I love it. I don't like the marble skin. <coughs> I do like this skin, though. Good deal. Some of the most viable spec. Yes. Raising for Alzheimer's memory. Nice. That's amazing. That's amazing. An amazing cause. Yes. Uh. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. We were talking about that. That's what I was just talking about, Misty. Yeah. All right, so as we continue to work on this month's giveaway, let's see here, where does this go? Like so. I like it. I'll give you guys my view here. I like it. Let's go ahead and add some plaster rocks to the back piece there. Let's 
Yeah. Need to close in on my second vamp getting to level 20. Nice. Just thinking of where I want to put the other some other blaster rocks, maybe. Because we're going to have some on the outside here. Um, but, uh... Because I love the big one. Because, yes, I did cast five of those. And have I used any of them yet? Uh, no. I broke two of them. No, three of them. I broke them apart to use, but yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do. No, we do not need to use the calipers. We're just going to put them off to the side here. Would you care to see the latest work in progresses of my progress since I can't, since I cast aside acrylics? I would love to. Share it in the Discord, the work in progress section, man. I would love to see it, as would all of the other brush nibblers. Or if you want us to just send me a link here on Twitch, send it to me uh, directly or one of the mods, and they'll post it up in the chat. But a link won't go in the chat. I think, Bron, that, uh, you were either how I found Wombat Combat, or uh, you found me through his stuff. Be with you, be with you, be with you, but I am not being with you, only you, all for you. I'm back. <gasps> the iPad died. Ah! Well, welcome back. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Hi, back. Uh, my name is Ricky. Good enough painting. I don't know how you got on Acrylic Geeks uh, account, but I'm sure it's okay. Uh, back, I'm super excited that you're here. All right, so we're gonna pull that out, put it on a piece of plastic card, give it a little bit of a better back, and yeah, move forward from there. Uh, it might just be okay just to throw it up in there. I think we're just gonna throw it up in there and see what happens. Smart butt. I got a great butt. No, I don't. It's kind of a butt. I got. I have an okay butt. Corpse Bride? What's that? A Tim Burton movie. Oh, okay. Oh, Claymation. That's fun. Yeah, same woodland scenes rock. Well, I love it. I love it so much. It's a great one. Okay. Okay, guys. There we go. That should be enough. Oh yeah, I know it's me. Oh, I know it's you. I'm just, I'm being, I'm being really dumb. <laughs> I'm making my own fun here. Haha. <laughs> Haha. -ha. 
brain goes numb, you can call them a freak when you wake up too much, you can get into all emotion, yeah. Oh, shoot! Wombat just joined the Discord. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. I thought you were already in there. One sec. There's an unverified Wombat in the Discord. Uh, hey, uh, if you don't mind, a lot of people have been skipping this. I'm going to make a real quick announcement, guys. Please include your Twitch username, a little bit about yourself, and how you found the good enough content. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you roles now. Um, but, uh, oops, oops, sorry. Uh, I do use that for... Uh, the giveaway entries and such. So please, please, please. Not so much the last question. That's just a conversation starter. Please go ahead and fill that out. I would mean a lot to me. Uh, but for now. I use that to verify that you're an actual person in the Discord, if, like, say you want a giveaway or something, things like that. But yeah. I have been, I've personally been really bad about just giving people roles when they join during the uh, streams, or, like, when I know them personally, um, and breaking my own rules. Sorry. Um, I will make sure to be doing that. I'll actually at some people that haven't done it yet. Oh, wow. The latest haul of things to Kitbash soon. Tio, that looks amazing. And also there's a promote your stream section. You can get some roles to get access to the different areas of the Discord. All of that good stuff. Yes. Oh, my Deliana is over. I'm sorry. That's those are the only two that I knew of that were happening. <sighs> I do apologize, that sucks. <sighs> Big old cock gun, that's what we need. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so it's not personal. Um, I mean, yeah, so part of it, I guess, would be personal information the uh, about yourself. Um, but I will just make a note uh, here that you have an uh, your note on user. And a giveaway channel here. That you, Twitch user is Discord user. Cool. Note made. Yeah, and it's uh, the thing because in our Discord we are a community. We like to know each other. Um, it's not just a streamer Discord where uh, you just mute it and <laughs> ever ever interact with it. In fact, we're gonna go through and do a purge here pretty soon. And or just a place where people can go and post the link to their go live and then never talk to any of the people that they're posting the link to the go live that just kills discords <laughs> all righty 
But yeah, there's a work in progress section. There's a gallery section. Whatever you want to post your stuff up, I would love to look at it. Vamp hold stronghold. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely stronghold buff. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've never tried to do any of that. I've never shocked anything that went outside. There we go. Rabbit knows everything. He probably does know. <laughs> Stream Raiders. I've been added in the general chat. No, I have not. Oh, Wombat, that looks amazing. You're doing such a good job. I love that gold armor. It is incredible. The, the eye glow there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love the bronze and the gold and the red. All of those nice similar tones, but you still have all of that pop from those highlights. Oh, my God. It looks absolutely stellar. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it, man. Oh, dude. That's incredible. I love this skeleton warrior thing. Oh. I think you said you were using oils and stuff too. That's even even more impressive. Well to way to go. Good job. You've done an amazing job. All right, folks, right, let's see here. Stronghold, throw our unkillable vampires out here. Vamp party. Oh, you definitely gotta post it in the gallery when it's done and dusted, man. I can't wait to see that. Look at our go. Oh my gosh. It finished his army in a month or two. Oh jeez, don't push yourself too hard. <coughs> Look at everyone else is leaving because they're like, ah, the vampire's got this. Look at the three of us there. Vamp party. Vamp party with Striken and Misty. Let's go. I was in there too. Oh, I missed it. I missed your epic vamp. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You gotta roll it. Oh yeah, you need to do that. I'm gonna place a paladin over here. If anyone wants to do something here, they can too, I guess. Discord confuses you. Why does Discord confuse you? Oh, um, if you're confused about um, roles and getting access to channels and stuff, 
It's really quite simple. What you're going to do is, if you've already filled out the introduce yourself form and gotten a, uh, whatchamacallit, a artisan role, or since you are, since you've subscribed at any point, anyone that ever gives as much as, as little as a dollar to Good Enough Painting, or even receives a gift sub, you can go here to the Good Enough content and actually get an illustrious artisan role. No one ever hits me up for it, so I'm actually going to delete this channel. So just let me know. Um, Twitch name, Mad Cheese. Yeah, no, I already have your intro, I think, right? Anyway, anyway. Yeah, so then you're going to go to the Get Your Roles and then react to these emotes based on what you want to see. So if you react to the promote your things category, you will be able to you react to this and then you'll see the promote your things category here. Yeah, that's just it. Oh, geez, it's 3 a.m. Okay, okay, folks. It is about that time. I didn't realize how late it was. Oh, geez. My bad. We're going to make sure this fits, and then we're going to go to bid. I have a bunch of stuff I got planned for tomorrow around the house, and if I get all that stuff done, then I'll be going live again tomorrow. Oh, geez, I didn't realize how late it was. So let's just make sure this fits, and then that's perfect. I'll be able to let this dry overnight and be on there nice and secure-like with that construction adhesive. Uh, not construction adhesive, the, um, you know what I'm saying. The Loctite stuff here, okay. Let's see here. I just want to make sure everything fits in here first. Before we finalize it, okay. This right in here. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was an unforeseen issue here. Let's rotate it in counterclockwise then instead. Perfecto. This goes in here like that. We'll do this like that. Okay, cool. Then we're going to dry fit the rest of this. This goes along this side, like so. And does that cover up that gap? Oh, look at that. Yes, it does. Awesome. And then this goes in here. Oh, there's an issue. Cool. That, that needs to scoop over a little bit. We'll do that. Oh, book nook side came off. I should not have untaped that. It's all coming apart. It's all coming apart. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then there we go. Perfect. I love it. And I love it. Awesome. I remember 100 years when I started oils. I remember when I started acrylic. I can leave my brush once more. <laughs> oh, gosh. The paint thinner is what always got me. And glossy look. <laughs> I could I could imagine. I've accidentally licked uh, mineral spirits off the paintbrush before. It is a, ooh, it's a tough sell. All right, cool. Oh dear, well, that's a new one, right? Whole thing just came right off. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Sorry, folks. Oh, Badoof. I need to catch a Badoof. Eh, there we go. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. So now, this book nook looks <laughs> like this. Ta-da! It's coming together very nicely. I'm very excited. And then there's some tools. We'll put this. Let's do it like this. We'll do this. Over here like that. We'll put this over here. And then we'll put some tools right there. Awesome. I hope this is going to make someone happy. And then, of course, there's all the dwarves and models and stuff that go along with it. But we'll work on those some other time. So there we go. We got some good work done on that today. Again, we'll be working on it a little bit every single day. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm going to put this whole thing on its back so that it dries in place very nicely. And uh, yeah, this will be going to either Queen Sassy Cat or uh, Phantom. Because uh, uh, Queen Sassy Cat did win the first drawing, so she gets to pick between this one and the other book nook. Um, which is, I'm not going to set that whole thing up. That was a nightmare. Um, but uh, that's the, we'll probably finish this one first and then start working on the other one every single day for about an hour, maybe two hours each stream. And uh, yeah. I had a lot of fun tonight. I normally don't ever stream on Sundays. It's, it is a nice little treat tonight to be able to do so. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me on today's little stream. And I will, uh, we're going to raid out and we're going to catch you on the next one. I'm going to put this one. Take this out. Take this out. Take this out. I might work on this a little bit tomorrow before stream. But yeah, tomorrow we'll do that as well. And yeah. Okay, Discord deleted from server. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about your account. I apologize. I'm deleted from sort of server. Um, your account was hacked, Recite. Uh, I made an announcement earlier to um. Not, uh, I received a message from you that was a uh, phishing scam. Maybe you probably received the same from somebody else and clicked on it. And your account actually sent out a private message to lots and lots of people. Um, it's going around Discord right now. No big deal. The link still works. You can re-access our Discord once you have access to your account again. Um, I don't know if it deletes itself from pri per, from Discords or if... No, none of the mods removed you. I, I would see it here in the log. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. You might have to even make a new account. Uh, Phantom Ghost did earlier today. So. I am sorry about that. But we are raiding out. Let's see who we're going to raid out to... We are going to, well, let's just make sure he's doing something. Let's see here. Oh. I think Disaster is actually playing a video game tonight, guys. It's been a while since I read out to a Dreamcraft Grobler, part of my stream team. I'm bad like that. My bad, everybody. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run a raid out to Disaster EXE, who it looks like, yeah, he's playing uh, The Flame in the Flood. Oh, that looks like a very interesting little indie game. He does tons of fun stream games as well as Pokemon community game. Um, if any of my wonderful mods want to... Uh, call out anyone else that they'd like to right now if you wanted to maybe some some uh uh i have two factor authentication on and i wasn't logged in i mean i can show you the message right here uh you sent me a message saying that i sent dick pics to somebody and to join this here and that you were blocking me on discord so 
you need to fix your account. Um, make sure you change your password, go through all of your private sent messages and tell people not to click this link. Um, currently, this scam has gotten almost 13,000 people. You change the password and all that? Good, good. Um, if you don't mind, please go through and delete this message that uh, your account sent to people if you could. Um, yeah, and I'm actually gonna remove this person. Um, as a friend, he has the he had to make a new account. All right, folks, cannot connect to my server though. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. And that was a private message in Discord. Recite, that wasn't, um, you didn't send that anywhere in the Discord. You sent that directly to me. So what happens when you click this link? Do you not get access to the Discord anymore? Same, you can't access the Discord either, Striken? All right, I'll send a, uh... I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Mass Bandit. How are you doing today? Um, I'm just, uh, we're actually just wrapping up. Oh, you can't access Discord? Okay, cool. Um, uh, we're actually working on this month's giveaway, um, today, and, uh, it's, uh, it's three in the morning. Oh man, Cyber, it's three in the morning. I gotta write out. I normally don't even stream on Sundays. <laughs> oh, you're saying same. You just got the message from I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be live again tomorrow though. But we are raiding out to Disaster EXE. Amazing crafter. Today he's playing a video game. Part of the uh, Dreamcraft Global Stream Team. Absolutely incredible guy. Uh, Cyber is an amazing streamer. You guys should check out his political streams. Um, I know you're just messing. And actually, uh, he has tons and tons of really awesome video game stuff. And he does a political stream where, he, uh, if you know how, you know how every Discord says, uh, every Discord, every Twitch channel Discord says, please don't talk politics, my own included. His is the content. His is the channel you should go, and he will talk politics with you. Amazing, intelligent, poli sci major. Yes go give him a follow and check out his streams. Um, let's see here. And make sure if you're joining the Discord for the first time that you are um, doing the introduce yourself form and we'll get you some, we'll get you the artisan role and then you can go and select to get your roles, normal Discord stuff. Uh, reach out if you have any questions. But in the meantime, guys, uh, I am, it's time to read out, it's time to read out, uh, disaster, exe. Okay, folks, we have a lot of fun here. I love seeing all of the amazing things that you made. It'll probably be a Discord help thing with the message issues. Go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, let me know what uh, problems you're experiencing. Please give me screenshots of what you're trying to do, and uh, I, and I will try and help you out, or I'll ask one of my wonderful mods on Discord to help you out. Some of those guys know a lot more about Discord than me. Anyway, folks, uh, I love seeing everything that you make. Just remember, it's a piece of you, so don't shame it, because it is always, and you just say it with me, folks, good enough, right? Right? It is literally something that you have put your time and effort, a piece of your life, a piece of your soul into. Don't shame it. Don't be disparaging on yourself. This is literally a, like it's a thing that you've created and you've put into the world. It's always going to be amazing, right? Right. Okay. I love all of you guys so very much. As we plow into this next year of streaming, I have so many big plans for GMP. Uh, and maybe some life changes along the way too, but that's all for later. I'll see you guys next time, okay?